special rules. So I like it. Sportsman sneak. That's a solid dandy, especially if we bait them out too soon and they cross that river, we can catch them on the open. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I like it. Alright, so I'm gonna have that salt tow the board. You guys are gonna be on the south.
All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another Wednesday Squad Ops event. I am your commentator for this evening's Shadowed Ritual, and today we bring to you Operation Tarantula Hawk. At its core, it is a patrol mission. British are going to be patrolling the Core Valley, um, and the insurgents are going to be trying to uh, interdict and stop them from finishing their patrol route. But before I go into more detail about what exactly their objective is and what assets they will have to complete said objective, let's go ahead and go over who is participating in this op command-wise. So, for the British team, we have platoon lead Revy, who's going to have a quick restart. Um, with his squad leads, BVD Runner, Storm, Total War HQ, and Assault. For the INS, we have platoon lead Londarts with his squad leads, Money Man. Godzilla Pro, Alpha Guido, and Boogie. So as far as platoon leads go between Revy and Londarts, Londarts has that experience. Revy just finishes, um, uh, I guess, commander training. Like, he's done having shadows and everything he can command on his own now. Um, and he's done pretty good so far, and uh, I've seen some good stuff out of him. Like, his plans have been really good, his platoon movements have been really good, and, uh, yeah, he's done fairly well, but uh, still, Londarts has that experience. Um, you got to lean towards him. We'll see how it goes, though. Um, as uh, When it comes to squad leads, standouts, Alpha Guido, Storm. Yeah, some pretty good assaults on uh, both sides. It's really going to come down to those commanders, how they uh, utilize their, their uh, squads, and where they decide to put them as far as uh, the mission goes. It's a, it's a patrol mission, which has a little bit of a defense in it, a little bit of attack defense in it. Um, and, and, and it's pretty unique. Let me go ahead and bring up the map so we can go ahead and talk about that. Go ahead and uh, bring up the map. So, I'm going to read the situation doc so you guys do it. Uh, XBIT puts a lot of work into the situation doc, and this one's pretty good. So, um, British forces. Uh, the Yanks have been, uh, Yanks have, have, have been having a rough go of it in the core of Valley. They need more, they need to move their forces out. So that's where we come in. We need to keep our security of the valley against a group calling themselves the Blackened Knives. Our platoon will perform patrols of various areas and sectors to ensure peace is kept in the Kora Valley. So, the U.S. forces are pulling out of the area, British forces replacing them. They need to maintain a presence, and they're going to maintain that presence by doing a patrol and, maintain, and making sure there is nothing fishy going on in the area. Insurgent forces. American forces have been slowly decreasing their presence in the Core Valley. This has given us the opportunity to work our way back into the area and begin to retake key locations. British forces have arrived. They seem very confident in their skill. Let us judge them on the battlefield. So insurgent forces, they see the U.S. forces moving out. They want to move in, retake key positions, um, but the British forces are there. It's time to see what they're made of and if they can uh, bully them out of the area so that way they can continue on with what insurgents do. Pretty simple mission. Uh, the British forces have uh, between two routes, green route, blue route, and uh, they have to they have to complete the route they chose. They can't change routes um, mid mission. So if they choose green, they got to stay green. If they choose blue, they got to stay blue. But there's uh, and there are three points or there are four points in every route. So green route has. The, the first point, green and blue, would have the one point at the beginning, and then they get to choose their middle point, which is north or south, There's, so they get to choose one of the two points, and then they have their end point they have to uh, to move to. So they only have to defend, or they only have to patrol three of the locations, they get to choose between the north and south middle points. Um, the insurgents start a squad behind enemy lines in the red areas um, that are... Yeah, no, in certain, uh, in certain activity behind enemy lines, just sort of scout in the area. Most likely going to be used as scouts, possibly as a back cap. Because one of the unique things about this op is usually if you're going to patrol the mission, if, if four are patrol missions, when they put the fob down, it is signaled clear and then they can move on. This time, if they put the fob down and the insurgents come behind them and dig down that fob, the, the British have to backtrack and then go retake the area. Just 100% make sure it's clear. So. It's going to allow the insurgent forces a lot of maneuvering behind enemy lines and, and trying to do what insurgents do best. Hit and run tactics. Um, don't they don't want to fight the British head on. They want to choose their engagements and then just back off if it's not advantageous to them. 
So I'm really going to look for those uh, that those uh, insurgents that spawn in the red areas to sort of just be behind end lines. Most likely be a scout, and uh, and then and then possibly back up. How's it going, Mister? The operation doc says there's neither squads get vehicles. Is that accurate? Live Ponsky. Um, that is accurate. The it is a strictly infantry op. And speaking of uh, assets, let's go ahead and go over what these guys will have to complete their objectives. British forces. First squad, one squad lead, one fire team lead kit, uh, two automatic riflemen, one light anti-tank kit, and one medic. The platoon armory, which the platoon lead can deal out as he sees fit, are two medium machine guns, two breachers, two ammo bearers, and one extra medic. Um, so the breachers are our, our answer to the scout kits for the uh, conventional forces. Uh, they, they're basically a timed IED or, or a... Uh, I'm sorry, I forget. De detonation pack or uh, satchel charge. That's it. That's what it's for. The ammo bears are, are again our a modded kit. Basically, we took out all of the um, we took out all of the ammo bags from everybody but the ammo bearer and the FTL kit. The FTL kit only gets a 50 ammo bag, a 50 ammo ammunition ammo bag, and that's why they only get one kit. The, each squad will have two fire team leads. But only one of those fire team leads will have the fire team lead kit. Um, so uh, they do not get any vehicles, and the only fobs that will be placed down is just to signify that they've completed their, uh, or you know, they've they've patrolled that area, and the area is here. Insurgent forces: first squad, one squad lead, one automatic rifleman, one light anti-tank kit, and one medic. Their optional hideout squad, if they want to have that squad behind enemy lines, is one squad lead, two automatic riflemen. One scout and one medic. The platoon armory, two extra scouts. So we're gonna look for those IEDs. The mines, less than useful. So there's no vehicles, but those IEDs are gonna be key for the insurgents. For uh, uh, really, what they're gonna want to do is place the IED, draw the British into the kill zone, blow it, and then fall back, or fall back and then blow it. So really gonna look for uh, some some really nice IED placements and those automatic riflemen on Core Valley. I love Core Valley. Um, it's probably one of my favorite areas, uh, one of my favorite maps for ops. It's it, it's very good. It, it, it's very very nice for infantry movement. You can move through fields. They've got uh, high walls they, that they can move around. They've got the river they can use. There's a, a lots and lots and lots of nooks and crannies they can they can use to move through. And then these fields. Um, they really, they same thing. It, it helps. It puts the ops in an optimal engagement range for for me personally. I like the mid range engagements. I don't CQB is cool, but it, it it really comes down to how well you can shoot. This puts it into a how well can you position yourself because the optimal the the engagement range tends to be about a hundred meters, two hundred meters where you can see them, you can shoot them relatively accurately, and if you're set up in a very nice ambush spot, you can just decimate full squads, whereas CQB, it, it sometimes lends itself to a 50-50. Um, and then the, the super long range shots where people are firing, you know, five, 600 meters away, and it's just firing. I mean, that's cool, but this is the engagement range I like in our operations. You know, 100 meters, 300 meters tops, like, it's good. Big maps are so boring. This map is a nice size. I agree, uh, Tommy. This is a very nice size. Yeah, and as I said, the engagement ranges are just really, really nice. So, waiting for Revy to get back in. Live time. I don't... <laughs> I was not listening to what he said. Um, so, we'll see what happens. Yeah, none of these vehicles have gas. They all ran out of gas. They don't get the uh, the Warrior or, or any of those kits. The Bulldog. I, like oh, I love the Bulldog. Such a good, good vehicle. It's a friggin' tank. Looks like we're lining up for a platoon brief. Hopefully, yeah, I believe Revy had, had given them the plan. Oh, they're just lining up for the platoon yeah. brief for yeah. Revy. So we can do it. They are good to go. Yeah, I'll do it for him. Okay, yeah, Storm's gonna do the the platoon brief. So we're gonna so we're gonna go ahead and listen into Storm as he briefs Revy's plan. Uh, We'll like, see uh, which route he's going to choose. Kind of which route do you think is the better route? The north the north side of the map or the south side of the map? The, yeah, that midpoint, I think, is going to uh, be dictated yeah, by the insurgents yeah. more than the, the actual yeah. British forces. Like but uh, the British forces do have that choice of red route or green route. Squad's missing. Yeah. Squad missing. I'm going to go ahead and drop the map, actually. No, I'll leave it up. Squad forward, one for a Silence for our commander. 
Sorry, Gene Squad 4 over here. Press F. Classic Squad 4. We found them. I repeat, we found them. Alright, guys. Wait for the last guy to get in here. Alright, everybody, welcome to Operation Tarantula Hawk. I am not your commander today. Your commander today is Revy. Uh, he is having some technical issues, so while he's getting in the game, I'm going to brief you guys really quickly on what our objective is today. So, our objective here in Tarantula Hawk, we're going to be placing down a total of two fobs, um, or three fobs, but first, our objective is two fobs. We're going to be splitting up our forces between the north and the south evenly. Our first fob location is marked on the map, K5. Or excuse me, K654. Our second one that we are going to try and achieve is the I755 location, and then the third fob will be the G858 location, or thereabouts. So, so going to be working uh, on the south side of the map. What squad is going to be doing? I'm sure your squad leaders have already briefed you, but a brief overview: the squads on the south are going to be tactically patrolling the area and placing down communication outpost so that we can uh, link up with HQ and tell them where the insurgent forces are so they can be wiped out by airstrike. All the squads in the north will be pro providing overwatch and diversion to prevent the enemy uh, forces from concentrating on our patrol. Anyone have any questions on what's going to be going on today? I've had another comment, Storm. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay, Platoon, be advised that there is also possible enemy outposts in the helmet markers on the map in the I column. Uh, be aware that that means there will be contact off of live very shortly, so be aware as soon as we leave this base. All right, and uh, last point to make uh, before we uh, set out to wait for Revy to come back. Uh, basically, nope. today... Um, there's going to be someone named Captain Dylan holding the command squad for Revy. One second, guys. That is completely normal. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, sorry. So, uh, just got a quick briefing from uh, Platoon Actual. So, uh, basically, uh, expect enemy contact. Uh, we are to be aggressive, but be tactical. So, that means don't be running out in uh, open fields. Uh, be maintaining your 360 degree security, but do not sit there in a doorway, pile up four guys, and eat a grenade. Okay? So, be tactical, be safe, be aggressive. Alright? Let's go have fun and die. Huh. Yeah. Yeehaw! Good. That, was, uh, that was kind of a pep talk in order for us to die very quickly. It's good to know that we shouldn't be good at Hey, they, they used to refer to us as expendables in the brief. Oh, fuck! Oh. Wait, they don't ex- You are expendables. They don't say they're expendables well, in the brief anymore? I thought that was- that's, that's That was, like, supposed to happen. You're supposed to say, you guys are expendables. You are expendable. <laughs> I always thought that was clever in the brief. I want to see an Imperial News Network, Network squad where you're leading in the near future. Um, Imperial News Network is my uh, commentating squad name. If I if I ever squad lead, it is the Empire, and if I ever command, it's the Emperor. As Star Wars, Empire did nothing wrong. The Death Star wasn't meant for the Rebels. You know your Star Wars history, or your Star Wars lore, I guess. Yes, technically, it's a, no, they not are, actual. Not you know. <laughs> what are you gonna use a Death Star for against rebels who keep moving? Come on, man, use your head. <laughs> so, getting ready to uh, getting ready for live. They're gonna give Assault the uh, he's second in command, so they're gonna let Revy uh, just take his time getting back in. Having a little bit technical difficulties, but Assault is gonna be just fine. Let's go check out uh, Insurgents. Insurgents uh, disposition. Where are they gonna set themselves up at? So their their uh, first hideout location. They're gonna have some guys at the mosque area, or or their forward hideout location, I should say. They're gonna start out at the mosque area. Single squad led by. Uh, 
uh, first compound. Who's this? Okay, Alpha there. Guido. Alright, this is probably yeah, one of the best squad leads you can have as a forward position. Yeah. Very autonomous um, when it comes to being a squad lead. Um, he's going to keep his squad lead up to date. Uh, or he's going to keep his squad up to date and he's going to keep his platoon lead up to date. And we are live. So uh, I like this choice of putting him so far forward. Let's see what he does with this squad. Right off the bat, he's going to spread them out, moving them east. Fire team north, fire team east. Or fire team north, buddy team east. Hideout squad option activated. What's up, Expert? How's it going? All right, uh, so, out, we're gonna take that we'll column. see what happens. A standard column. platoon staggered column moving south with blue one, blue two, blue three, blue four moving west. Red four moving northeast, red three and red one moving east. Looks like they're really going to harden up on this southern position with a flanking squad of red four. Money man in command of that squad. Let's see what happens. Gonna be a few minutes of maneuvering. Repeat last. Yeah, we're and I like this this lair south, for this op. It's like a, a sun sunset, I guess. Near near sunset up. I'm a big fan of the the night core or like the. I guess it's like dusk Cora, where like the sun is almost below the horizon, and it's not quite night. That's probably my favorite layer. My least favorite layer of Cora is that one that's like noon. And everything's just like blindingly white. And yeah, it's just, it can get crazy. So, Albert Blythe. A nice little spot here, looking down the road. I like that. Acid and his buddy. Again, just watching roads. They're not going to have to push out really, they're not going to push out really aggressively. Um, their idea is to just spot them and then allow the rest of his platoon to maneuver in and get on the flanks. Go check out blue as they move. Hey, this is one to all squad leads. There is enemy contact at mosque. Spotted them at mosque already. Nice spot. Most likely somebody in that tower, yeah. Got an easy spot. He's probably Alpha Guido. If Assault spotted him, Alpha Guido most likely spotted Assault. See, this will tell us if they actually assault, did spot like to to continuing to, uh, Red 1 is continuing to move east. 3 looks like He's it's going to be in reserve. Red 4 is in their position. Okay, good. Blue Command. Blue Command is uh, Revy, who's is that <laughs> getting back into the server. Uh, Red Command is Londarts. Yeah, Bearing 246 on the mosque. You know, an AR here would be really good to cover these guys, just in case. Alright, move. Total war, we can work Moving. this. I'm gonna push position my squad to get in a base of fire. I'm bounding by fire teams all the way up to mosque, and then if you want to, we'll just organize an assault because we're gonna have to deal with the enemy contact at mosque. So blue one and blue two are out outnumbered here. Uh, three squads versus two. These two squads, uh, blue five or excuse me, blue three and blue four, are gonna have to work really. Uh, close together to deal with red four and then start to push south is he alive mr yeah mr uzi uh round just started we're about a minute into live two minutes into live he just uh dc'd like right before uh he's coming back and assault's gonna uh a fine uh squad two, squad one. We're gonna try to get, in, uh, in uh, uh on that charge now bank. fire out the mosque. copy report that be advised to break. Break. Uh, squad who is taking fire from the direct south, uh, two zero zero, south southwest. Roughly, I would say Firing. six one three. Come in and let me. I'm on standby. Unfortunately, they got. We got to have the commander. We're gonna try and get him back in as soon as possible. If not, uh, they'll most likely grab you for that second round. Almost definitely got to be for that second round, depending on how many people are in pre-op. We've done really well at, at filling our ops. We've actually had quite a few people in pre-op. Didn't like get home in time? Oh no, Kyle. Oh, you gotta hang out with me on stream, so not all is lost. sweeping action and hit the mosque from the north and uh, draw some of their attention. Compound is clear. Compound did... One did two. 
Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try to get set up here on these hills, facing the mosque. Did you take? I'm not actually sure. I've heard shots, and I've flown around to a couple areas. I'm not sure who's actually doing the shooting. Okay, found it. K six one roughly. Zeke, Vladimir, and his friends firing onto the mosque tower. Really nice spot from Vladimir here. I like it. Get him a set of binoculars to guide him in. Um, I wouldn't. All right, my guys are seeing anything south. Don't see him. Yeah, actually, yeah, go for it. Proper. Throw a burst at him. Throw a burst at him. All right, get down. So, do you want us to uh? All right, let's go check out this northern push. This is gonna be pretty big. So four. They're in an awkward spot. I'm not sure what four is gonna do. Most likely move southwest. They're close. I thought these guys were gonna work with uh. I thought blue four was gonna work with blue three here. But uh, doesn't seem so. Blue three is going to be on its own on the plane. Drop that radio when you're ready. We'll put our two platoons on. Yeah, I like this up. Really cool. Like here. the dynamic of utilizing fire and maneuver and patrol. Yeah, I'm real. I'm a big fan of our patrol ops. Attack defense is a lot of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, attack defense is a lot of fun, but um, where patrol ops thing, the engagement can happen anywhere, and the engagement is often moving. Whereas the attack defense op, you know. Fixed location, you know you have to go to the specific spot. Yeah, the attack or the patrol up, you know you have to go to specific spots, but the engagement is always not is not always at said position. It's it's sometimes before like these guys aren't even close to their first position, and uh, they're already in engagement. We're moving to provide covering fire and a flank onto the mosque. Over. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm currently doing. Yeah. Storm is moving. Okay, we're gonna get that Storm is moving thing. south to get a get a flank on the Moss. He has no idea Red right Four is here. Money Man Squad. See what happens. We're gonna follow the Northern Patrol for a little bit until uh, Blue One decides to bound up. Stop drinking water down the wrong hole. All right. Four doesn't know. Yeah. Four doesn't know. Four doesn't know. Three. Uh, Red Four doesn't know. Blue Three is here. But blue three is the one who's gonna get caught out, I believe, because look at uh, red four is not moving. They are actively scanning. These guys are moving to engage other targets, so they're not they're not even worried about their west, which uh, could be their downfall. Let Charlie stack up on me. Let's get in here. Dylan, stay with these guys that are Copy. here. They're providing long range support. Alright, stay with stay Move with the guys the in the police station. Ooh, okay, so they're gonna get in this. They're gonna set up in this police Man, station and try to lay down some fire down that direction. From the south of us. Uh, K774. Right. Yeah, I, I agree, Yuzi. Um, Tanker Red, Captain Dylan, Kurt Cobain, Edis, Toxic Rebel. They're they're setting themselves up for a for an ambush or to be ambushed if they don't maintain their security. Yeah, uh, oh, somebody's our, uh, okay. Toxic Rebel fire. saying somebody watch their west. They they need to maintain that, that, that western security. I can watch you guys answer if you want me to. I'm trying to stay alive for uh, Commander. One to two. I'm Copy. online. I'm I got coming. a base of fire. Where are we going to push up to that next compound at Juliet? Good security. I like the I like this this suppression, or I like this position that Stormer's putting his guys in. As long as they maintain two, security, I'm it's going to be really nice. But that's the key. They they cannot slack on their security, or it's going to open it up for Red Four to uh, push in. Let's go check out uh, one and two, then we'll go check out Blue Three. Everybody seems content to get themselves set up as a base of fire. Who's going to move? Where's the movement going to happen? Roger. Yeah, perfect. No kills. Well, one kill for the insurgents. Who went down? Copyright. Wait, How we I don't think he went down. I think it was him switching kits. Uh, be aware, my uh, suppression element nope. is giving Kurt, fired off from Kurt did go down. As soon as I left, he went down. Uh, Who got the kill? Big Rago got the kill over there. What's your uh, true movement? Are you coming back southeast? As soon as I left, yeah, gonna, this, gonna, these guys uh, got engaged. Position on the mosque here that I think is being pretty effective. Uh, Maybe they pulled the trigger too early on this suppression fire. They just didn't have their security set up. Blue 4 is caught out, I believe. 
most of my squad's down. Oh, wow. Two, I'm gonna start suppressing unless you can suppress from your location. Yeah, I can yeah copy, we're moving. They just got, moving, moving. yeah, Storm just got wrecked trying to cross start the river here. Camera. From the west, Chicken Nuggets and friends. Mowed him down, Chicken Nuggets got two, Spills Daddy got two, as they tried to cross the river. Very risky, tr uh, very risky cross. I don't think it was the wrong call, but they definitely didn't have um, eyes where they needed to to spot this. They got caught. Look at this. Let's go check out these guys on the on the bridge. These guys here, they they caught him. Good job, Floyd and Two are working this contact at Mosque. It does look like some of them are pulling out, going southwest. Break. Squad four, I need you to get up online and get link up with uh, command and the rest of three to the west. Copy. Yeah, we're pushing west over. Solid. A literal hold the line. Yeah, they, exactly. The insurgents look like they're they're not, they're trying to just hold this hard, uh, not. Five let up any of this well it looks like they fell back just a little bit but not far i think force i think four could be in a better position let's go check out force four spots let's see if toxic rebel can um get this uh cover these guys on the, on the west do not push up to me Two, need you to cover. I'm gonna send a fire team to that compound at Juliet six two three. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of force positioning. It's like they 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 got set up to cover one and two, but they really can't. I guess can they see Musk? Without asking me, since I am the fire team leader, it just caused confusion. I couldn't find you for a second. All right, let's keep going. Hotel six eight six. Break break break. We got a full squad. Oh, effect. Keep the charges. Fire team. They're shifting northwest at near Storm. Storm, they're gonna be near you. Uh, look, like they are in I six one five. Not a bad spot. Okay, they're they're getting into better positions. I just wasn't a fan of them being this far hey, back. As far back as they were, I don't think it worked out for them. Uh, red three being very aggressive, pushing in on the east. Red four moving north, pushing east, looking to flank red five and uh, uh, red, uh <clears throat> not red uh, red five, blue five and blue three. So we're taking heavy fire from Moss. Solid copy. Yeah, we'll try to bail you out, Storm. Yeah, don't waste too many men on me. Just get close to me, provide support, and I'll try and pull myself out. I'm heavily wounded. One to two. I'm trying. I'm gonna get my squad back online near that compound to your north, and then we'll uh, we'll attack the mosque. Yeah, copy. My guys got out in the open. The contact at Mosque is just not something we can bypass. Yeah, no, agreed. We're moving a, a bunch of fully intact squad into position just north of so Mosque now. Copy, Ford, just careful. Don't, try not yeah, to cross just, that river. Only shoot at people. Only shoot at contact. Yeah, copy. We will not cross that river. We're going to try to push up to the banks, cut them off, and they're going to try to escape north. So, Blue 2 got caught out in the open? BD, I'm going to try and make my move. Through. Yeah, Blue 2 got caught out in copy. the open. Sorry about your squad. I'm very Really awkward positioning from um, Total War Squad. I'm not sure where they're gonna be able to move it from this. Cause they got caught out in a file and rather than a, a, a line, so the uh, insurgents only have to fire down this okay, this uh, narrow alley between the this hill to the uh, south and this low wall to their north. So the to pin down the entire squad. We'll see if he's gonna be able to recover. Um. Hey Got Hawk, me. can you move up anymore? Wait, wait. Like along move. this wall, can you move up anymore? Hey, I, I, yeah, I can move, I can move southwest, but I cannot cross this wall. Okay. Yeah, like go to like J782, position along the wall there. Bro, I didn't move it. Yeah, that's the bait. You cannot stand up. We're yeah, moving, looks like we're moving south, but we're moving along the wall. Conga line failed. Yep. Yeah. 
Where do they move from here? I guess they can move a, a further up. Watch out Who's the one who has eyes on them? It's this this group of uh insurgents right here. Let's check out their sidelines. Oh yeah. Look at this Gandalf and uh, Psychonaut. Have really good sidelines onto the area the Total War is gonna try and come through. They see anything yet? Not quite. We have better zoom than them for sure. If we can't see them, they can't. They're looking. They don't know how far up they, they really are. I'm okay. No rush, gentlemen, but us at Ruffy's. Revy is back. We got command. Let's see if he can take charge of the situation. Update on kills zero for the British forces, five for the insurgents, most of those guys being Storm Squad. I'm gonna rejoin my squad. Storm manages to fall back and Yep. Storm manages to fall back. Revy is here. Yep. Oh man, don't leave that spot, Gandalf. You had a really nice We're spot. At least keep somebody on that low wall. That's a we really like I this is a really good location. He heard me. For, uh, he's I didn't actually see anything apparently. in game. He just did uh, it himself. I like to think he heard me. We're taking fire from Mosque. I have seven ninety. Did they? Are they sure of our route yet? Can we continue the feet uh, to the north? I believe they are unsure. They've been moving around. Copy. So we have, we have uh, contact on... Let's deny the information. Go ahead, too. Yeah, uh, we have contact on I-797 in Mosque, and we also have contact in I-755. Okay. On the, on let's the, not uh, rush on this. The buildings. Let's just fight it out. Good uh, callouts. They're going to get curious and peek. Let's uh, get a few more... Good, more good callouts from uh, Blue 2 here. This line is actually not bad. If they were to get online, or, or if they were to get enough guys firing, I believe they'd be able to maintain fire superiority. This is going to be the pivot. Two or three guys. We're good, and we can keep pushing west. I think what I can do is screen squad two, cover the contact at Mons. Let's go check out Blue Three in the north. Contact at India seven five two and clear to get the radio down. Yeah, if you can sneak around, that's great. Another option is also breach. Be aware, I have contact within seventy five meters southwest of my position. Oh, Reload. yeah, yeah, he does. Look at that. Adam, UJ, Key, and friends. Red four, yeah, usually red four is flanking. It's a single fire team, looks like. RPG meant to uh, take out Tanker Red, I'd say. Landed right inside this uh, tower. We were taking fire before. They know we're here. I'm gonna get a fire superiority for you momentarily. Yeah, copy. We won't be able to move unless you fire support. Okay, go, go, go. Uh, go. Well, now you got immediate no damage. Idiots. Don't go in that way. Don't Tree, just make way. sure they're not maneuvering to north. Uh, we don't want they're them just to be facing, guys. Facing. You don't want to get taken out by that yeah. same, same frag round. I'm in uh, close proximity contact, approximately 50 to 75 meters. <laughs> Toxic Rebel almost goes down, Tanker Red. Oh, Storm gets domed by UJ Key, I want to say. It was either UJ Key or Adam. Yeah, suppression for moving out. Yeah, no, there was no suppression here. They just tried to move. Oh, Captain yeah, Dillon tries to peek to, here. Uh, we need to maintain the diversion from that we're still going to north. Let's so just hold out there. If you need to fall back a little bit, do so. Understood. I, uh, I'm just curious, why, why did they pull out of here guys, we're them to down. here? What was their plan for moving here? Were they going to continue west? Were they going to fall back? 
I'm not sure. I think hold, hold it up in police station would have been the better call. Let's check out Red 4 as they're going to complete their flank here momentarily. Okay, not momentarily. Looks like they're going for a nice little 10 year flank. Going to get behind enemy lines if I've ever seen it. See what happens. And I'll keep the contact at Moss down. Yeah, I was going to follow them in, but it doesn't look like they're going to be there for a minute. Red 1, Red 2 holding their line re relatively well. The blue 1 and blue 2 making right good progress, honestly. Like, with the amount of fire they've been taking, they've been moving through these fields very nicely. Assault keeping up that aggression. Total War has been stalled out for a little bit, but uh, Assault has been moving. Can medics revive in one life events? No, they cannot, uh, Charlene. Once you go down with that little electric symbol over your head, you are dead. Um, but if you can bandage, Copy. the medic can like heal you back yeah, to full. Going back into okay, four is, four is but uh, yeah, back once you're north. down, you're down. Uh, we're taking accurate fire on our position. We're compromised. Hey, two, you look oversaturated there. Do you want to pull around? Uh, yeah, north that's what one? I was thinking, but uh, they got us completely pinned down. Anywhere we move right now, we have... Red Commander still cover. alive. Red Commander... Uh, right, two. Just, just smoke it off. Have everyone throw smokes and pull back. Londarts are still alive. I bet Londarts is probably so far back he hasn't rendered in. That's... It's Londarts M.O. He commands... He takes commanding from... Look. <laughs> there you go. Takes commanding from the rear to the extreme. He's good at staying alive. Great at staying alive, because this is exactly what he should be doing. Um... But he does. He definitely takes commanding from rear to the to that extreme. He's commanding from his map and uh, and his binoculars. How can you guys do this? Is everyone welcome? Everyone is welcome. If you guys are interested in participating in these events, check us out squadups.gg. Again, squadups.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, link your Discord, and take our uh, squad ops tactics and training basic course. Only about 45 minutes to an hour long, and then you can participate in any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. We host them once on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. Uh, those are the ones we stream, the one on Wednesday, twice on Saturdays. We also host Friday Postscriptum events, as well as Sunday. Um, they swap between SOTT and Postscriptum events, I believe. But uh, we do One Life events a lot. And then our Thursdays are for our, our basic trainings and our advanced courses and things like that from our SOTT. And H686. Should be commanding from there. How you stay alive, right? But when when I sit, look at this. He is six, seven, nine hundred, almost a kilometer away from his platoon. <laughs> wow, nice RPG. They're just I'm, nailing this uh, this building. Relatively accurate, but they're on this other side of the wall. Uh, let's go to the building a little bit farther north. That way, they don't know exactly where we are. We're gonna try to join. Nice push right, from so Assault here, taking control of Mosque. This is going to give them some breathing room. Yeah, let's see if we can get a radio at I-6. Say again, sorry. Uh, squad comms are insane. Yeah, I'm pushing Remy, did you say something? Copy. Copy. You might want to get the, get the mines around. Building. When to command mosque is there, we got it. There's an upstairs, we gotta hit upstairs. Clear. Yeah, looking good. Okay, we got a reloading. We're not pushing south of the river now in a safe position on the eastern side. We got, we need to get out here. We're getting into position to back it over. Charlie. Charlie, southeast. Yeah, we're secure the north of mosque. Routine, on the, uh, here. Just don't that much. Oh. ID goes up, doesn't take anybody out. That could have been actually a very nice IED when Assault Squad was in the area. Coffee. But Assault had, had the uh, presence of mind to just continue the push. Where was that ID? Blue able to spot Red 4. Blue 4 able to spot Red 4. I don't. Wow, look at that progress that Red 4 has made. They've been moving. ID went off at approximately Juliet 778, roughly. They're, so they've got eyes that, they were on the north side, the, the literal furthest north you can get, like edge of the map north, I guess this is as, as north as you can get, but I'm like edge of the map north, hugging the border, and now they're going to hit the south side of the map, come up behind the uh, blue two, and uh, command. 
Copy, we're being pushed by infantry, we're holding them off now. I think that we're still in police station. We're gonna go check out Blue 3 in just a moment. I wanna see this. This, uh, hard fought flank come to fruition. I don't know where they're going. Why are you going north? Oh! They're going after the fob. <laughs> they're going after the first point. Okay, okay. And nobody stayed to defense. So they're going to have to fall back and take that point. They're, they're going to force British forces to uh, turn around and fall back. So four kills for the British, eight kills for the insurgents. Not all is lost. Still a very close game. But this is definitely going to throw a wrench yeah, in the British's plans. I uh, fired them north of me. I'm going to push them. I'm going to keep pushing them up. I'm moving fired by fire team. We're still taking shots. Okay. We're in tandem with the two. One. Yeah, copy. Okay, we knocked out the two uh, infantry pushing towards police station. They were pushing south for you guys. Copy three. I need you to be a thorn in their side up to the north here, please. Four, I need you to secure the north of us. Copy. Uh, for us, half my squad to a dodgy ID. Option. We can stay here now they know we're here that we fired, or we can keep heading north and then try to flank around where they flank us. Uh, yeah, let's Infantry's take an idea. Red smoke. Actually, that is a good Idiot idea. 779. Okay, uh, tanker, yeah, tanker go back. get back. Yeah, fall back over we know to when us. you need that suppression southwest. These three guys as a fire team are working really well together. Lost that eastern. Let's give them a minute to fall back and then we'll push it. Suppression's up. I don't think they've realized. No, they haven't realized. Not dug down yet. You will. Assault going to maintain suppression, allowing two to move. Really good. I'm so pleased with the way Revy's platoon does their movements. Like, he is one of the, one of the commanders where I notice that he is definitely working in tandem. One squad fire, the other squad maneuver. One fire team fire. One, like, what you should be doing as a platoon. Firing and maneuvering. Bounding by fire teams. Not just have a full squad just run to run. Like they have some cover, they're able to uh, move efficiently. Revy's done a great job managing that. Hawk takes a grenade. He's okay, he's gonna be able to bandage. Hey, firm. He's gonna bandage, he'll be alright. So you gotta put it in either I755 or I61. They got our back radio, guys. We have contact story. Three, I need you to start right. falling back to our well, original radio. Well, contact at India 779, too. So that's probably, it's not my guys. Four, you need four. to pull these, dude. Four, four police. Good call. I have no idea. Three, pull to our original uh, radio position. What's east? We're moving to Kilo 6. Four, six. Two hold what you got, one hold what you got. Four and three, converge on Kilo 6, four, six. Rev, you said that sorry. I need four and three converging on kilo six four six one and two hold the line uh hold what you got do you not want to actually get into that compound two, do it yeah, okay, if you're close me. enough and you can do it do it all right so four and three being told to fall back deal with this fire team in the rear uh revy has two guys on him steiner and phoenix uh two is going to try and push take charge of this compound where uh, red one is red uh, blue one is going to continue to hold mosque Good order so far. I'm gonna watch the assault here. Oh, Hawk takes an RPG from not an NSA spy. Man, that was, that's uh, something. Blue Commander is in danger. I'm gonna go check out uh, Revy in just a minute because Phoenix is a good shot. I'm not sure on Stein. I don't recognize the name. But Phoenix being there definitely uh, signals trouble for. They don't know. Look, they're looking past each other.
Hey, do we have ice on our, uh, our east? Uh, force one to pick up. No the idea. Copy. Okay, force nearly in position. ID goes off. Takes out Sebi V. That was a breacher charge that, that went off. Took out a Sebi V. They need to push now. Not as the spy had gone down to use just a rifle on. fire, I assume. They were they were not close enough to take advantage of that uh, breacher charge. Great breacher charge. Great idea to take it out. But as soon as that goes off, you got to move. Move, move, move. Get in there. Overwhelm them before they can uh, realize what's going on. Pipefunk jumping over the wall. He's in. Don't go by yourself. They're going. They're going. This is a breach. Great use of the breach of charge. I'm watching north. They're in the compound, just the big man. We're falling back. Copy. Hopefully this wasn't in vain. What with them behind enemy lines, now it's up to these guys to to make use of the 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 distraction that the uh, the fob being down. Break break break, we got direct contact. Is causing Boogie goes down to uh, Kablamo. Oddball getting shot at by a bunch of uh, or shooting at a bunch of uh, somebody get a grenade through there. Somebody get a grenade through there. I've got that. Backblast clear. Backblast check for backblast. Check for backblast. Oh, Kablam goes down to I Money's. Chuck it over the wall. Where are we headed? Murph, we have to kill this compound right here. Get inside, get inside. Grenade too far. Yep. Hey, there's, yeah, the, um, watch, watch Nori. Hey, Money's had a really good, uh, crossfire push. there. Frag out onto Pipa. Trying to get, trying to get a good angle to, to spot this from. I don't like seeing through the wall. There you go. Four. We're gonna bypass these guys. Backblast clear, backblast, backblast, dead. Uh, yep, like he went down I Money's. I Money's takes out another Trooper Chompa Troops. Yeah, Pipe Funk, all that's left of this original fire team. Pipe Funk may take out Oddball. No, misses Oddball. I don't get shot, got shot from Train, Flicker, I want to say. Flicker does bleed out. No, he's okay. He's got a medic there too. Looks like Maybe Phoenix. No, Phoenix is still alive. Left. Kind of. Hey, yeah, man, four. Right. Right. Hey, get on the off sides. Get on opposite side of the door. Flickers, you're, you're gonna go first. You're gonna go right. Rob, you're gonna go straight to the left. All right. Okay. All right. Let's gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and fall back. Looks like I Money's Oddball is gonna fall back. C control to um, Blue Two. And round one, we're nearing the mid game of round one. Update on kills 10 for the British forces, 17 for the insurgents. The insurgents are up. And that's exactly the, the call to fall back, I think, is the correct one. Because that's all the insurgents need to do is just hit them, fall back, hit them, fall back. Because the, the uh, British forces are still on their first point, one of three locations they need to patrol. So any whittling they can do is definitely going to put the. Uh, give the insurgents the upper hand. Later on in the round, Ethel trying to get his spot on the uh. Okay, we have eyes on that compound. We're watching it, watching the north side of it. Copy three, looks like shooting at you from my northeast. Okay. We're taking no contacts. Interesting. If we can get these two radios down simultaneously, we can break contact and get southwest. Yeah, that'd be great. One seven one six two to one seven one range. They spotted this. Yeah, yeah Ethel was in a, a little an awkward spot for his uh bipod. Body jumped all over the place. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta ignore those contacts. We gotta get J six two two. Yeah, I got you, boss. I'm yelling at my guys to move, and they're just fucking not bounding. Two getting whittled down. Looks like blue four, blue one has had a really good hold here. Looks like red one and red two just gonna just fall back. They've, they're gonna see the location. They don't want to take 
any more casualties. 10 to 18. Move back to another fallback line. That's that's definitely the, the right call. If you were this fire team, if you were money man, what's the call here? You try and hold this location to the last man because you're gonna get overwhelmed. You have to know your squad's behind your your the rest of your platoons on the west. They have to come back here. You stay and hold, or do you pull off into a direction, hide, let them place it down, and then come back and dig it up again? What I would do. That's super sneaky, though. Would you like us to shoot at the original compound or J6? Yes, because the original compound. We should suppress the original compound. I spy a G with only icons. Copy. G with only icons. Four copies. We're bounding guys here each time now. Mm, oh, GL. With only irons. Irons, not icons. Yeah, that was a, uh, a pony thing. Oh, that's right, because the British one, uh, the British forces only had, uh, had the GL with a, with a, an ACOG. Amazing. Epic Filet, you're spectating? I am spectating. I'm, yeah. I am spectating. Nearing the, uh, I'd say, I'd still say we're firmly in the mid game, nearing end game for uh, round one, one to command. There of is, our uh, squad ops one life event, Tarantula Hawk. Those of you just joining us, right it's now. a patrol we're mission for the British forces. They're patrolling the Cora Valley. Um, they've got to patrol three locations. They got to they got to choose a northern route or a southern route. They chose a southern route, and if the insurgents destroy their fob at any of their points, they have to go back and secure the point. Again, so they have to secure three locations along their patrol route, right, and uh, the insurgents have done that. They have the the U.S. The, excuse me, the British forces placed down their fob, left it undefended, and allowed the British forces to push in and secure it. And that's what I was. Uh, I, I was unsure why he didn't leave anybody to defend it. They knew that they they would have to come back. Even Revy knew he had to come back. Revy wasn't there at the start. That's it. Revy. I think Revy would have had the presence of mind to leave at least a fire team here for defense. Um, but unfortunately, the, his uh, 2IC assault, just, uh, he wanted to keep that pressure on and continue moving west. And uh, they, they ended up paying for it. We're low on ammo. We're down to two mags on a heavy MG. One to two. I'm getting out of this mosque. We're pushing to you. Fire superiority right here. Copy. It's a really good We're fire superiority with We're just three guys. They have some really good fire. Sounds like you need to slow your right to fire down, buddy. Would be more friendly because I don't have much left. Yeah, hold fire, fire, fire. Uh, tanker. Hold fire tanker. One to right. I'm giving up the moss. Slow the rate of fire down. Mags, one yellow, one orange. So two full mags, fifty percent, and a seventy fiver. Yeah, Tanker was maybe going a little bit crazy with his um with his um belts, I guess. Or make sure there's no ID. But then again, those medium machine guns only have like five, five or six, right? From the north side of our compound, I said five. Watch this. Well, we're gonna watch this assault, and then we're gonna go check out one and two on that uh, northwest or southwest. Ooh, Wayne is gonna run up on both of these guys. Take him out, Noon. Takes out money, man. Does he see volatile? He does not see. He did he not see volatile. On the north side, north side of the compound. Him, he, sees, he sees volatile. He sees him. Volatile goes down. There's two down. Drop. Easy. Yeah, fuck it, I'm right Epic What's going on here? This is a patrol mission. British forces are patrolling the Core Valley. They are moving to their start location, or or they're moving to their first point, which they had uh, lost to the insurgents. They're gonna uh, put down their their radio, signifying that they have patrolled the area. And then they're going to try and move on and continue their patrol route. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the map for those of you just joining us. So you can see sort of the general route that the British forces will be taking. They get to choose between green and blue. They chose blue. They're at that very first point. Then they're going to move to one of those two midpoints before moving to their final point on the far west. Would you like us 
to move in with you or hold position? Drop the map. Three hold. Copy. Insurgents have done a good job at being insurgents, doing hidden run tactics, and 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 just being a a thorn in the sides of the British forces as they try and maneuver. Good on them. Like the the, the thing I I see a lot of commands doing. Uh, the objective is to patrol uh, a, a given route. Uh, uh, patrol a given route, and uh, then defend. If they can make it to their third and final point, defend it until the end of the round, being last man standing. But uh, what I see a lot of commanders do is try and have head-on firefights with conventional forces as the insurgents. It just does not work out. The British forces have better guns, have better optics. The insurgents just can't hack it when it comes to just a standard firefight, standard brawl. Whereas here, they've done a lot of maneuvering. They've, uh, they've, yeah, they've done a lot of maneuvering, a lot of hit and run tactics, and it has really paid off for them. Twelve kills to eighteen. We're just bringing it back slightly. Full auto question mark? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what uh, that's what he was doing. Hey, man, with thinking, that's I'm why he went get one solo. On What's red three and five doing? Red three and five look like they're going for a flank on blue three. Look at that. Blue 3 is going to get flanked. They're, they're actually looking like they, they want to take that first point. Bondage is really trying to fight or, or fight over this first point. He's not going to allow the British any breathing room. not going to allow them to maneuver off of that point. These guys are going to get flanked. No, no rear security here. With three guys, it is tough, given. All right, lead the way. They're going to move. Or be advised, there might be contacts uh, coming out of Juliet 622. Juliet, just got fucking ripped up close. Bro, <laughs> Lon is actually near the front, right? He's only a hundred meters from his guys, rather than nine hundred meters. That's as close as Londart's gonna get. So Steiner, Saloon, and Phoenix just gonna fall back. Command for. Break, break, break. I, I, got, I got contact direct, sorry, direct north, moving west along the river uh, on the bridge I-614. Roger, it sounds like they, uh, they know our intent. Here. It was a, it was a squad lead, so he's, it's a full squad size element. Salt so, gonna continue his push on to that secondary, uh, second Are patrol location. He's gonna try and move faster than the the insurgents move because if they make it to their third point, it doesn't matter if the insurgents get the first point because the the British forces will be on the defense. But if they if the British forces cannot get that second radio down, they're gonna continue uh, they're gonna continue having to fight over that first point, which is really what Launders is gonna do. He needs to just keep up that keep up the pressure that he's doing, and and look at it, look at this pressure. Command four. Uh, well, two squads on the north. North, maybe 75 meters. Be sharp. Copy. All squads be advised. We do have. Uh, SL equals full squad. What do you mean SL equals full squad? North command. Where to float over? Where to float so over? So far, the southern route's been pretty clear. So still within five, still within about a fire team. There's only a fire team up, and if they try and face them head on, I think they. Oh, he said he saw an SL, so he presumed a full squad. Yeah, I mean, Commander, not wrong. Just hit mosque. Or at mosque. Thinks a, a, a SL equals full squad. That may be a little bit of an overestimation. A little bit, I think. He he said I six one four. So who did he see? Was it two? Was it acid squad? Who is? Learn Acid Squad. Is Acid Squad all but dead? Acid has like, yeah, Acid has four guys in the squad left. We're taking contact from the north. 
Talks to Rebel, me just take a shot. RPG goes in, takes out, uh, Blackbeard takes out, uh, I'm not, I'm, I just assumed it was Blackbeard because he was in the front, but, uh, takes out this guy. Pick it up, let's get out of here. Report the contact. Yeah, um, Mr. Z, I, I definitely like the SKS a lot. Um, with a, such a good gun now. The iron sight is, or it's like it's got like an optic now. Better iron. I was in a small squadron and I have two lay back skiing for insurgents, so I wouldn't send in a whole platoon to get wiped. Look at one. Look how look at their movement. They're out there. Well Finally's behind enemy in. lines. Two coming into support. Four and three, two, three coming up behind. Uh, red four, red three coming up behind. Radio, blue four, blue the three. Well, the radio. And blue two. We, we the See what happens. The radio is about to go down again. Did they get their second radio down? They did get their second radio down. I think they're okay. I think. Commander, it looks like they can fire. Uh, and, the, the rules are a little bit different. I'm not sure if they have to they have to hold both of those radios, or once they get the second radio, the first one's down, and then they have to the the insurgents can get this radio. Expert, if you are still here, you can clarify this for me. But if they get the second radio down, then they have to hold the second radio and push to the third with the second one being vulnerable, or do they have to hold both radios before getting to the third and ultimately defending to the end? What would you like us to say? Move. That first radio is down three again. Key moving, three key moving to hotel. Uh, to the radio. Copy. Did you drop anybody? Ooh, Wayne Newton is getting it. shot at. Copy. I own a non Rinko SKS. I love it. Awesome, though. Put some, uh, I like how the NCO knows what he's doing. Yeah, um, fire team leads. I like it when you get a good fire team lead. And and speaking of fire team lead, let's take a look at who's still up command wise. Um, so British forces still have their commander. This is a fire team lead, Wayne Noon, very competent uh, fire team. Talks Rebel's been doing a pretty good job as a fire team lead. Metis keeping they're working really well together. Uh, Metis uh, is working really well with Toxic. Total Warriors cues an original squad lead. Assault original squad lead. Londart's original command. Phoenix is a fire team lead, a uh, very competent fire team lead. Godzilla Pro's original. Acid is a fire team lead, but is a very competent fire team lead. And this squad is all but wiped, it looks like. And I don't think they have any of the command comms. They need both down to cross the line, Optox says. Okay. Cool. So they, they're going to need to fall back into out, I believe. Unless they misinterpret the rules, too. See what happens if an admins may do something about this. I believe so. Putting rounds down. Look at sneaking Gandalf. I don't know. No, they're gonna spot Revy. Don't take out Revy. They spotted him. They know he's there. Contact. Oh, Rob, not the best spot to go prone. Break, break, break. We got, uh, we got contact ready north. 100 meters. North. Frag out onto Rob. Uh, frag out from Rebby onto Gandalf. Frag out takes Rob. Gandalf goes down to a grenade too. Good, good exchange of grenades. Sneaks the only one left of these two, uh, this buddy team. Sucks is that in Afghanistan our radio man was more exposed than our... Wow. Less than 100 meters. It's interesting. Three, got eyes on them. Contact instantly drops and fires, right? Like, it's it's just, a, I, it's like a video game, like, twitch. Like, as soon as you get shot at, you go prone, no matter what. Even though it's, like, you shouldn't go prone. You either, you, you either move to cover and then go prone, 
Squad five and three, uh, or squad fire three because your aim gets thrown off, so you're not going to be able to fire effectively uh, while going two prone. Two keep or help you can get into cover and hide better. Like he, this is not the spot to go prone. Like right here. <laughs> what are you going to do? You're in, you're in a riverbed. <laughs> That's not gonna work out for you. Here would have been the better spot to go prone. It ended up not working out for him just because of that grenade. Fuck my guess through the roof again. I am I, I do like that the Command squad four. did the thing where they, they took out the dolphin dive and dolphin dive used to be a, a, a very crazy thing. Do you want to have rear security or do you want us to hold this radio position? Uh we don't need to hold that radio. Um collapse in on us. Understood. It's, uh, just be advised by the context. Could have read him was pinned about four, three, four times. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I think I got three. most of them down. Three, did you get a confirmed kill? I got two confirmed kills. I'm sure about however Copy many three, else I need, need you to push past me. I need you to push past me. I can't go down. Copy. Okay, yeah, we're, we're pushing. We're pushing. Sorry, I got nothing. They're being chased. Yeah, two bosses. One good automatic rifleman here, though, can hold this angle. One good, two good riflemen, one good automatic rifleman. Not even gonna try and hold the trees up. Once it Still clear, no enemy contact. I'm almost into the point. I'm gonna drop this radio. We're starting to clear now. Good work. I still have contacts yeah, north, north, my east. east. Two, basically. Uh, east two, Copy. Huh? Right. Four, contact, what do you got? Two, four, six, yeah, I don't think they noticed that last point went down. He's in the trees on the other side of the wall now. To the left. He's pressing. Two copies. All right. Fifty meters. Try like five. Frag out. Gonna land on Revy's head. He's going down. <laughs> Great frag from Coolius guy. They they got to the last point. Command. He called that shit. You got to the last point. We'll see if they hold. Assault, do you want us to bring squad three? No, here's what I want. I want three and squad four to link up. I want the remainder of two to come to me. Looks like three's in lit. Yeah. yeah, come to me too. We're We're yeah, Wayne, if you could push north and then take the left friendly route and try to link up on this uh, way to the base, B1. North, we have to defend it. Oh, talk to Rebel. Finally goes down. That, that was three, I believe. Yeah, as they get swarmed by uh, Aston and his guys. One, Suddenly, four. these guys are behind enemy lines and completely circled. They got sneak. Wade Which Noon is uh, between a rock and a hard place. He's between Aston's uh, fire team or buddy team and blue four and uh, excuse me, red three and red four to their north and east. Like. Uh, there, <laughs> and to our southwest. Oh, Hamdog goes down. Oh, they're in such an awkward spot. Copy. There's cannot support you in any way, but oh, again. Oh, just such an awkward really spot for him. Afraid. If you can cover me, I'm moving around the front wall. We'll go in and kill the enemy before they killed us. Yeah, it was a beautiful name, Mr. Uzi. All right, Flanky Frank. That's that's how you win. That's not like if you want to win, the, all you have to do, the, it's it's very simple. Just kill them before they kill you. Um, not a tough concept. We noon goes down. Four is all but wiped out. Sulkrit's only one remaining at the uh, this point. Blue two and blue one do make it to their final point, and uh, they're gonna hold, I believe. Shield corpses manages. Alright, I'm gonna make a final stand here.
I wouldn't call this in about Freedom a are very so. important because they call in air support and artillery fire, but make sure... I'm gonna push the one. 200 degrees miles away. Yeah. Oh, they're not there, actually. Freedom man, definitely, definitely an important job. I'm gonna watch Salt Crits until he dies. Twenty meters on top of your head. I mean, the only reason I know that is because of uh, that scene from Generation Kill, where um, I don't think they're gonna come in. What do they call him? Oh, Socrates goes down to D League. What a one tap! But uh, I, I forget what they call their platoon commander. I think it's like Encino Man or something who, who tries to call in call in uh, artillery, and he gets the grids wrong. The only reason I know. Andrew close like that. Salt's monologue, right? I always like listening to the the internal or the external monologue of the the last man standing. Who he has to know people are watching him. So many people dead. Seventeen kills for the British. Twenty eight for the insurgents. Insurgents widening that gap from ten to about eleven. Yeah, eleven. I like that one video when Karma says, uh, you lodge drivers are the real MVPs. Do we want to have an know what you're talking about, but it's a lot. Yeah, Danger Close is like, I learned British patrol is complete. Insurgents must retake the point. Okay, so insert the... Here it is. Uh, now they just have to defend. The fire pit new? No, the fire pit's not new. This is this has always been here. One to two. If any of your guys got sandbags, have them drop them. Yeah, a lot of people use danger close as like Copy. infantry danger close, but like I'm fairly certain I've been because I've been corrected by this, but like danger close is specifically for artillery or, or like indirect fire being danger close, right? You would just say something like contact close if it was you know contact close. Logistic companies are the backbones of the army, right? Assault, you hear me in local today. So, blue one, blue two, gonna take charge of the radio tower. This is their final point, and Surge now have to assault them. And it's it's gonna be tough for the 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 um the British forces. They've got one, two, nine. They've got a single squad versus upwards of two squads, upwards of three squads. Let's get an actual count of uh, insurgent forces. Eighteen, yeah, exactly two squads. So one squad versus two squads. Blue has a defender's advantage. Let's take a look at how they're positioning themselves and where we think the insurgents are going to push in from. Hmm. I like their spread. Helkul, it looks like a good spot, but I'm not a big fan of this. It's it's just too easy to get shot out. What a dangle you had. And your 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 routes, your escape path is taking your angle. Built from there. Roger. But like two per building, I think would be good. Yeah, look at that nice little sandbag here. And not blocking a doorway or anything. You got movement. Should be good. I think it'll be a, a pretty close defense, but I uh, from. Just the way the insurgents have been moving and uh, maneuvering, both the same exact thing, have been maneuvering, um, I, I feel like the insurgents are ha have the upper hand. I always ask where the RD is landing when somebody's danger close, right? There's artillery? Danger close, what? Who's firing the mortars? Silent. Yeah, once you're dead, you're, uh, there's no more talking to the living. And I think the decision here for the for the uh, British forces, do they keep anybody on the outside of the point? Do they keep a buddy team on the outside of the point? I think they should. I like I I don't like the idea of piling everybody into the point and then letting them come to you because you have zero room to maneuver and gives the uh, the attackers. 
all of the room to uh, completely circle in and take you out. Uh, this, the, the, I guess the point could be argued that the, they don't need to spread out off the point because they've got two really nice buildings to have a crossfire from in support from. But still, a buddy team, like north of Pipe Funk, like move Pipe Funk and one other, so like this bridge here, and have them have a, a, a nice little crossfire to the south, I think would be very, very nice. But still, I think um, Little Warriors, Q Flicker, and, and Pipe Funk can be that maneuvering element, because they're most likely not going to assault that building, or that uh, set of compounds, uh, and, and instead focus on, on this uh, the actual radio tower proper. Taking shot, Rex. Six nine, six nine. Okay, that. Only use danger close to authorize close air artillery with higher possibility of friendly fire. Never Copy. heard it used There's for infantry combat. Things. Yeah. The only place I've ever heard it is is you know in game. And then I've been corrected because people without that come with their experience. They're like, nope, that's not how you use that. Wow, they are just laying down the fire into these buildings. It's not going to allow the British to peek anything. I thought it was something you shout on a public toilet while taking a dump after eating spicy food. Keep up the fire. I think that's the, maintain the that fire superiority. The insurgents have done a great job at maintaining fire superiority. Not allow anybody to peek any of the windows. Like Helico hasn't been able to spot much, and it's allowed Ass and Spills Daddy to push right up onto the objective. Let your Both those windows, both those windows are covered. Both those windows. Yeah. Don't allow them to peek the windows, insurgents. You just gotta keep them pinned down, and uh, let your guys get right up on the objective. Stay hey, up. battle I'm drinking. Stay right, up. After you bend some, get battle scene. I don't want everyone on the grenade. One to two, they're on our southeast. Way. Southeast, southeast. This means they have a less margin for error than usual. Normally it's safe, but sometimes close air support, IDF, it's their mark. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure, like, during, like, World War II and, and whatnot. Artillery could be off by a lot just because it was all done by like hand and, and whatnot But nowadays I feel like a lot of things are done by computer and there's less of a margin for error Or there's like there's less of a chance of, of things not going where you call them now He's on the wall Zero five five That's our pistol? He's shooting a brick window peeker, right? Look at acid. One to two, there's one in between us. Oh, I missed this. This is the window peeker you were talking about. I think I'm engaging right now. Yeah. Possibly. Oh, like cool. Like like bandaging. Or, or, or had to bandage. Oh, well, they, they know acid's here now. Oh, takes him out with the pistol. Acid takes out Zeke with the, the, the pistol. Acid may bleed out here, though. No, he'll be okay, but... I mean, he's he's all but dead. <laughs> All but dead. We're taking shots from the east uh, on your side of the wall. Now we're here. Copy. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Yeah, total. If you could look south. I'm being getting shot. I didn't even see this. There's a full fire team who, who's approaching from the south. Update 25 to 31. It, British bring it back a little bit from 8 down to 6, that gap. But still, it's looking rough for them. They're going to have to just go off. Assault gets tagged. How? 
how could he see me? Squad, we, see, we see people me? pushing in from the uh, southeast. Do you want us to subvert? This is how they can see. Look at that angle. Go for it, yeah. What? Copy. Okay, that's what I thought. Thank God. Look at this push by Pipe Funk and Total War. They may push up on Acid. They see Acid. They miss all of their shots on Acid. And Pipe Funk's yeah, gonna take that, them out with a pistol. Nope, Pipe Funk takes him out. Wow, I was about to say, is, is Acid gonna get that pistol kill? Cause, cause damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. I might do that. He's across the river. There's at least two south. I'm bandaging. Nightmare, I need you to heal me. Okay, Pipe Funk, go in front of me. Go in front of me. Seven versus five? Am I missing so many? I feel like the insurgents have so many more. Wow, they're bringing it back so, so close. Such a close game. Lima Bean goes down. Oh, I can't even have the name tags up anymore. So many admin cams. We lost Lima. Your nightmares versus three. See, this is what I'm talking about. They had the guys on the flank. Oh, that would have been so brutal. Pipe Funk takes out Chicken Nugget. Godzilla gets the return frag. Total War still on the outside. Yeah, dude, hard. yeah we're getting. Sh I'm getting shot from. I just lost my guy. We're getting shot from the outside. I I'm. I'm in. I'll try to push it. Total War spots him. He sees him. But so does Patrick Star. Assault. I got one guy right in front of me. I'll probably die here. Frag out from Patrick Star onto Total War. Is it gonna land? Too far, way too far. Two versus two here as they start to breach the Better compound. Assault, assault watching the door. And he takes good out two, Londarts. Londarts goes down, that's command down. Who's gonna take charge of the, the red team now? Three versus four. And US bringing it, or British forces bringing it back. That was on the roof. That's defender's advantage right there. Total War down to a pistol. They see me. Got him. Assault is dead. It is your nightmare. And to uh, Total War versus Godzilla Pro Liberal Pundit Patrick Starr and Big Rago. Oh, as well as Steiner. Nice. Look at this spot from Steiner. Sneaky. Look at that. That's a nice spot. Yeah, I really like this this positioning here. When do they play postscript in one life events? Lighter, we play postscript in one life events on Fridays generally. Um, but I would check the website squadups.gg for those of you interested in participating in these one life events. Check us out squadups.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, take our basic training course, and then you can participate on any and all of our one life events. Hold them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays, as well as post-scriptum events on Fridays, and uh, then our trainings are on Saturdays and Sundays. Or not Saturdays, um, Thursdays and Sundays. Just check the website, squadups.gg. Yeah, uh, rarely streamed. I, I only stream the Wednesdays and Saturday events. But uh, definitely should be getting some more commentators soon. I just set somebody up to commentate uh, yesterday, so hopefully he'll start to commentate soon, get his commentator's legs your nightmare takes out big rago hopefully he gets his commentator's legs and is you know confident enough to commentate on his own and then you know we may bring, we may be able to start streaming more and more events coming in friendly coming in friendly coming in friendly coming in friendly coming in upstairs i'm going upstairs right now Assault you there? Shit, am I the last one? Fuck. Total War is the only one remaining. Your nightmare goes down. So it's Total War versus three. Ooh, and this is gonna be tough. I believe Total War versus three. I'm gonna zoom out really quick. Yeah. Total War versus three. It is up to Liberal Pundit Patrick Star and Godzilla Pro. Circle in and take him out. No longer gonna be able to have the name. Look at all those admin cams, all the dead people.
pushing circling him 3d game they need to i it's a it's a it's a it's a 3d situation they need i think they need to vault in as well as trying to salt them from the top total war recognizing that and uh, he's going to position himself to catch them if they try and vaulting because this is the vault point right here up here they have to hear him Push in. This is round one. Uh, yes, this is this is round one. And total war goes down. And that wraps it up for that very first round of our squad ops one life event. We've got round two coming up. The British forces moved well, I thought, once Revy got back. Um, the I think it all it all came down to the start. Not having to fall back to to retake that first point before moving on really cost them a lot of unnecessary casualties. And the, the insurgents did a great job on just firing, falling back, firing, and falling back, picking them off before they eventually had to get to that last point. It, it a lot of ammo weight uh, spent on both, uh, both sides. There were people down to pistols. It was just a crazy amount of firing going on. Good job for the insurgents to just constantly be maneuvering, keep the British on their toes. We're going to go ahead and swap sides and get set up for the next round. British forces will play insurgents, insurgents will play British what do you think could have done better? What do you think the U.S. could have done? Excuse me, not the U.S. The British could have done to finish that round out strong. And I, I, I think it really could have. I think it really could have come down. Assault. My death. Assault. Your gun was popping out. They were shooting Hell, at your gun. Dude, I was all the way up I, by I the radio. You on replay. Assault I saw it. across the streets. Across the streets. There was a no, tiny murder hole in our opposite. That's no, fine. That was a no, close. Yeah, just getting situated for that next round. But I think the... Yeah, I was just listening on that. The British forces, if they had left, you know, a buddy team to defend, they might have been able to... to oh, oh, was that, the battle, was that a battle roll? Sumari, isn't it? I feel like this is Sumari. Yeah, it is Sumari. I knew it. I'm going to have to roll twice now as we get situated for this next round. Once to get back on the lair, and then once to get people on the correct sides, because it's not realistic to have everybody swap sides. But I really, the, the British forces moved really well together. Assault did a good job on maintaining that fire superiority for a lot of the time. Um, Total War got caught out a couple times. Storm got caught out. I'm trying to cross the, the, the river. And I'm not sure what he could have done to prevent being caught out in the river besides not crossing the river. But uh, his, his, his goal of getting across the river to, to help uh, support fire from the north was, like, that's the call I would have made if I was in his shoes. But the, there was just such accurate long-range fire from the insurgents down the river that um, he, he lost four or five guys in a matter of seconds. So... It, it, it's, a, it's a judgment call. He just got caught out in the river when there, he, he couldn't see is really what it was. He didn't have proper eyes down the west. And that river is a death trap if you get caught out. Like, there's really no way. His YouTube quality severely lags Twitch. Yeah, I think Twitch is better. Uh, I like watching things on Twitch. We do upload all of our videos onto YouTube, though. If you missed the stream and you want to catch it, we... Uh, we upload them onto youtube.com forward slash squad ops. If you like what you saw and want to give us a follow and know when we go live, um, just give us, uh, we would uh, appreciate a follow on YouTube, uh, Twitch, twitch.com forward slash squad ops. Getting set up for this next round. Just gonna... Rolls, rolls, rolls. Some people like YouTube though. I, if, if I watch on YouTube, it's because I'm, I was late and you can rewind go backwards unlike twitch or like if you miss something you can go back and then just go forward Getting we'll get closer. there
<laughs> here we go. What is going on? This should be. Oh, so they're rotating it again. Yeah. What? The teams are mixed. Wait, what? Yeah, the teams definitely it's... got mixed. Yeah. Yeah, some of us started switching over. Hmm. That's fine. I'm just getting intelligence on you guys. I can't find any. Oh. I will be on British for both rounds, so we're going to be able to hear Londarts' um, command comms this round as he tries to uh, take charge. Or, or as he tries to complete the British objective. Four fives. I am... Why does the admin cam start so far up? Missing something? Are they not talking? I don't think they're Probably just getting squads set up and uh, situated. So, I'll get through all the things that I should be going over. So, welcome to our Squad Ops One Life event. I am your commentator for this evening, Shadowed Ritual. We are round two of Operation Tarantula Hawk. For the British team, we have platoon lead Londarts with his squad leads Money Man. Godzilla Pro, the Alpha Guido, and Boogie. For the Insurgents, we have Platoon Lead Revy with his squad leads BVD Runner, Total War HQ, Storm, and Assault. So as far as Platoon Leads go, um, Londarch is a very experienced squad uh, Platoon Lead Revy. Brand newish. He just finished his um, his command training, I guess you would call it. Um, he's finished shadowing, he's finished being shadowed, and I, he said, uh, I think he told me this is his second um, op actually commanding without a shadow, and he's done a great job so far, looking for some good stuff out of him as he gets more and more experience. The uh, Londarts, very experienced command, knows what he's doing, knows how to adapt, knows how to come up with a plan, should see some good stuff out of him. So, uh, as far as squad leads go, standouts, they got Storm, Assault, Alpha Guido, I think Boogie, this is like his third or fourth time uh, squad leading, uh, Money Man's pretty good, should see some good stuff out of them, it's really going to come down to positioning and the aggressiveness of the individual squads in their, uh, in their position. Listen in, make sure I'm not going to miss anything. Well, he's just going to go over his plan with the, the platoon lead. So, this operation. Operation Tarantula, I'll go ahead and bring up the map. It's relatively simple, patrol up. Situation reads as, for the British forces, the Inks have, had, uh, have been having a rough go of it in the Core Valley. They need to move their forces out, so that's where we come in. We need to keep up the security of the Valley against a group calling themselves the Blackened Knives. Our platoon will perform patrols of various areas and sectors to ensure peace is kept in the Core Valley. 
So, U.S. forces can't hack it, British forces having to relieve them, and they are now situated in Core Valley, patrolling the area to maintain control against a group calling themselves the Black and Knives. Insurgent forces, aka the Black and Knives, American forces have been slowly decreasing their presence in the Core Valley. This has given us an opportunity to work our way back into the area and begin to retake key locations. British forces have arrived. They seem very confident in their skills. Let us judge them on the battlefield. So, insurgent forces are in the area. They see the U.S. forces are pulling out. They think, man, cool, we're going to be able to, to come into the area and retake, the, uh, and retake our stuff. But the British forces are there. They need to test them, see what they're capable of, and see if they can, uh, and see if they can uh, deal with them so they can move back into the area. What will they have to complete their objectives? Or what is their objective? So the British forces are patrolling. They get to choose between green and blue. Once they select their route, they have to complete said route. They can't sh they can't change from green to blue or blue to green mid round. Um, so they do get to they do choose their location. Once they uh, choose their location, they then uh, patrol said location. They have their first point, which they place the fob down to signify it's clear. And then they move to the center point, it's east to west, then they move to the center point, and they get to choose one of those two locations, north or south. Once they get a fob down in one of those locations, they can then move to their final point on the west, and then they defend it till round ends. Round two, yes, this is round two, Triz Money, just at the start. Wasn't this a part of the campaign? I'm not sure, Miss Yuzi, it sounds like it was. This op was created in, what does the op doc say? Op was created may 12th 2018 so may of last year and it was updated just a couple days ago just for clarity's sake um yeah mr money man we've actually got a, a new uh, a, a team now who's going through all of the op docs normalizing everything and making sure the the uh the docs all look as they should there's no spelling errors and, and getting rid of all of that uh stuff so Yes, uh, I lost my train of thought. Yes, they, they then have to, they, they, once they're done patrolling, they then uh, get to that final point and then they have to defend it to the last man. The, Brit the insurgents can, if they choose, start a single squad in one of the possible insurgent activity locations. And uh, if so, it's most likely going to act as a behind enemy lines, um, hit and run tactics, sort of uh, squad, Recon or get behind them is really, I, uh, I believe, going to be their their objective. What assets will these guys have to complete said objective? British forces per squad, they get one squad lead, one fire team lead kit, two automatic riflemen, one light anti tank kit, and one medic. Their platoon armory, which the platoon lead can deal out as he sees fit, are two medium machine guns, two breachers, two ammo bearers, and one medic. They there are no vehicles or no fobs in this operation well besides the fob signifying that the, the area has been cleared but they don't get any defensive structures or or things like that in certain forces per squad one squad lead one automatic rifleman one light anti-tank kit and one medic they do not get any fire team lead kits um, but they do get fire team lead roles they're just no kits for them they're the optional hideout squad if they decide to start a squad in one of those red areas is one squad lead two automatic riflemen one scout and one medic the platoon armory is two extra scouts so there's a potential for three scouts or that being three ieds uh again no vehicles and no fob slash logistics this is what happens when you don't eat carbs charlie from squad one just notice the truck who pony we don't have a beak on our trucks beak like a bumper you just call a bumper a beak? Is that a British thing? Oh god, this is like those buffaloes they used in Vietnam. This thing over here. Yeah, you see this? It's like oh, are you, you're talking about the thing in the front. Is it open top? Spider. Well, look it at the is. Gun. Like the gun yeah. exposed. Get off the beach, Money man. Yeah, I think th this is something he put in. This is the one that's part of the map. What is this pile of shit? Are we going to do a first-person stream? Um, if there's enough interest, I can do a, a first-person stream and actually play. The thing with the, the, the first-person stream is uh, I usually command or squad lead, or used to command or squad lead, and uh, those can get kind of boring if I'm not dead and, and can see everything because 
as squad leader commands, my my goal is to stay alive and you know lead lead my guys. And a lot of the time means I'm sitting back and looking at the map. As I like, if you think I bring up the map and and take it off a lot, like when I'm squad leading on the ground, my map is like that. It's it's up constantly. So um, it can get. I mean, if enough of you want me to to do a solo or a first person stream, then uh, yeah, I can. I do enjoy playing it. Our ops are a lot of fun to play in. I just like commentating a lot. If you don't move, I'll give you a hug. Meek was just me making fun of the look of it. Okay, okay. Patrick, it was funny at first, but now it's just annoying. But we will be assaulting buildings on Mike, the guys. And place down the first fob. Yo, and listen in on the There's a small squad, so um, basically be generally Ooh, he's going to do the northern route. I like that. I like when the, the, the squad, down. the commands Your do the will be opposite for routes and or anything. Sneakiness. So we don't we'll see a repeat. Uh, south, west, and northwest. <laughs> INS have a possible uh, starting location, not just in Mosque, but also up there somewhere in India, 548. The other three squads will be uh, moving approximately on the five marks until uh, getting to Juliet 683. You will be very mindful, obviously, of Mosque, which is in India 7, sorry, India 631. So Mosque can put a little yellow five mark on it. So you just want to uh, make sure that you've got uh, guns ready to shoot in that direction in case you get lit up. I don't want us to get bogged down, so those three squads, uh, which will be Godzilla, Boogie, and Money Man squad. Uh, Money Man, you're going to be on point. The other two squads will be falling behind. Once you get to that peninsula in Juliet 658, we're going to have uh, Godzilla squad go up the canal. Like so. Hopefully he does a, yeah, a uh, uh, money man sword. brief. Uh, INS had it appears to be in the south. Yeah, I was just about to uh, to say. It looks like the INS are going to start a forward squad in the mosque area. It's a good call. I think this is the better of the two because the, the this is one of the locations they can hide out. The other location is in the north. I I can't. Here. Here, here's the the possibility of the second one. I don't like. I, I'll go show you. I don't like. It, it. It's it's not great. There's no cover. There's no real room to maneuver without being spotted. Whereas here, you can get up high right off the bat. You've got nice hard cover to to hold up in, and uh, you can and you can actually like hold that position and make sure nobody put, and, and people don't push you out. But like here. Where are you going to move from here? I guess you can hold up in these buildings to the south. Oh, overshot it. Right here. I mean, it's not terrible. But I don't think it's great. Because your options for maneuvering are, are direct south to try and uh, set up in, like, police station. Or east. And there's just too much open ground and whatnot. Moss Tower equals Suicide Tower. I'm not going to disagree with you, but that information is so key at the beginning to see which direction the guys are moving. I'd risk it. Even for just a minute. And like, as soon as you spot somebody, just get out of the tower. But I think if, if I was the squad lead here, who is the squad lead here? This is Red 2 being Storm. Four Storm's gonna be the forward scout. Probably the you know, same same uh, idea as Alpha Guido. Very very competent, aut autonomous squad lead. Knows how to uh, take charge of his guys and get them moving. Hopefully <laughs> hopefully the squad doesn't get mowed down so early as it did last time, being so far forward. But uh, knowing Storm, he probably volunteered for this role. But I definitely would take char take this tower. Maybe not the the top tower. You can get into this middle tower, can't you? Oh, you can't. Huh. So it's a top tower or bust. Yeah, maybe it is more suicide than I thought it was. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's go check out uh, British forces. Gotten a little bit quiet. I believe, yeah, no, line it up for platoon brief. Hopefully don't miss it. Yeah, yeah, that problem is 
this is over. You want to be the perfect one for Ford? Yeah, it's the same. The same boat as like Alpha Guido. I think he was the perfect uh, oh, squad lead to be Ford uh, last, last uh, round. Last round. Went a little long. So uh, one thing I'm going to emphasize a few times is uh, the importance for us as the British outfit in this particular uh, round of Operation Tarantula to be aggressive. I don't want us getting bogged down and giving the INS the opportunity to encircle us and pick us off. They do have the advantage of uh, choosing where and when to ambush us. So I can't stress enough uh, aggressiveness of movement. If we see the enemy, I want people shooting at them. I want us bounding towards them and taking them out. Don't forget, we do have breach kits in the platoon. We also have LAT, so there's no reason to go into a compound without uh, using those explosives first to clear it out. If you all open your maps, you'll notice our first location we're going to put down a uh, fold and patrol is Juliet 561. Guido uh, and myself will be uh, locking that down while the rest of the platoon basically moves on live th through the river uh, until getting to Juliet 683. From there, we'll have Boogie Squad basically screening and providing uh, eyes and uh, gunfire onto Mosque in case they take up a position in Mosque, which is likely. We're going to have Money Man pushing through the center of the peninsula and we're going to have Godzilla Pro and his squad going down the, um, the creek. Assuming all squads make it intact, first initial point we're going to assault to put the second radio is India 674. So very important that uh, we get that second radio down because that then allows us to go to our final objective which is in Foxtrot 635. Now you all note there's a secondary or a fourth, uh, it's called Crossbones, I've got on the map in Hotel 522. Uh, that is an option we have if it proves difficult for us to get uh, our second patrol point down on the INS checkpoint uh, location in India 6 and 7 4. So it's pretty uh, obvious that uh, the uh, the Blackened Knives, which is the uh, crew of INS who are patrolling this valley, want us dead. They don't like us. We're the invaders. And we've picked up this particular area of uh, responsibility from the US forces. So it's important that uh, we do a good job and don't become a fertilizer for the INS's poppies and uh, hemp production facilities. Any questions? All right, listen to your squad leaders, your fire team leaders, and most importantly, be aggressive and have fun. All right, squad leaders, break them out. Be aggressive. That is Londarch's motto, like always. Just be aggressive, maintain fire superiority, Always preaching suppression. Sometimes it doesn't work out for him, but uh, it seemed last round it 100% did. He was definitely a, a very, a very mobile, aggressive. Uh, he had a very mobile, aggressive team, and it and it paid off. Yeah, they they were definitely uh, working well together. Waiting on a live time. Doesn't look like one has been called yet. Oh, live at 7.42. So live in about a minute. Let's see what happens. I like the the northern part of the map a lot more than the southern part, personally. Mostly playing in, like, vanilla games. I'm, when I'm thinking of thinking in terms of, like, vanilla games, I like fighting on the over the north, like the grape farms, the uh, point here. Um, I, uh, I'm drawing a blank on this point. But like the, these points over here are a lot of fun to fight over. I only got two the hell out of you guys. Five. Live in about thirty seconds. I got four kills last game with rockets. Yo, Charlie. All right, we'll do it. You front. Yeah, you'll go ahead. Hey, Thor. Let's go lead a fire. So I remember Charlie leads off. Uh, just off ship, so that, and let's go Bravo, so that's right. going front. Uh, Charlie, uh, don't get shot, you're with Imons, you're who? Coolest, you're with me, with Charlie. Yeah, Hemp, right, 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 right. yes. Hemp Farm. Well, one of them's called Grape Farm, or, or, or Vineyard, or something, right? It's like Hemp Farm, and then the one to the east. Understood. In the files, in the files. Or is it the one to the west? One's Grape Farm, one's, one's Hemp Farm. And we are live. Right off the bat, we got the full platoon moving south. Uh, one, four, and three moving south. Blue two moving southwest. Let's take a look at red team. Red team, our uh, red two on the point proper. Red four moving northeast. Red three moving northeast. Red one moving southeast. 
So another even split here. I think this is this is the the what happened last time is Revy went for an even two two split north and south, two squads north, two squads south. Whereas Londarts did a three one split, three squads on one flank, two squad or one squad on the other. And that 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 held much better in my opinion than the than the two two. Because the two two just means one squad is slightly better or one flank is slightly better off whereas the other flank is undermanned versus the three versus two the advisor is nd frag nd frag what kind of nd is that <laughs> anyway all right whatever <laughs> but uh as i was saying like two squads versus three it's outgunned and that's just a lot more like nine more people i feel is just Nine more when it making it twenty one versus eighteen seems my math isn't right. Twenty seven, sorry. I don't know why I said twenty one. Um nine more guys is is much more impactful on a flank where you're overwhelming them three squads to two, whereas two squads to one, I don't feel you can do as much because those two squads are gonna get pinned down by the one squad, whereas with the two squads versus three, two squads versus two squads with that third squad being able Boogie. Hope that made sense because it's sort of got rambly towards. Me. Why can I foresee an encirclement happening? Maybe, maybe if the, if if red one and red two play their cards right and lay low, they can. There, there's a chance for them to fire north over the river and and definitely, definitely get them in a nice little crossfire. Got an issue? That's not hemp, my man. Really? Take a fire. Shots. They got caught out. Getting shots from the southwest. Don't go prone there. Don't go prone there. Get over to the river. I think it's south. It's south. I'm gonna shot right on Mosque. So if you guys, if you guys, if you guys get eyes on Mosque, to light it up. That is correct. Copy. All right, Piggy. If you wanna get up, it's far. Get in the river. Get in the river. All right, in the river. Let's go in the river. In the river. In the river. Oh. Not the black ammo. Just conserve. Single rate of fire, very slow. Just keep the heads down. Move, move, move. See, they they all got caught out, and now they're gonna have to try and uh, adapt. And this liver pun gets tapped. Ooh, somebody goes down. That was one kill. Who was that? Squad three. Is that a squad lead? No, that's hero. Man, we're moving through this lane to push uh, through to the river. Rush on engine, basically. Into the open river, yeah. Hmm, maybe not. So now their south cover, Should their south flank is blown. Is, uh, contact on red spike. If you guys want to look around, I'm help you. I don't try like to use this little wall. West. If you need to. Yeah, this 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 compound really sucks. Yeah. I wonder who tossed that smoke. That red smoke. Command four is gonna hold position until we can get some type of control of the situation. We're just taking rounds now. Roger. Three and two two one. Move it heist. Roger that. New Zealand last. What's up, Chris Jones? This is quality suppression right here. You see how he's not blowing a lot of ammo. It's just boom, like one shot, two shots, two shots, three shots. Like he's not. Just full auto into nothing. He's shooting at the general area. Looks like another goes down. Two. No, that's the same same person. Nope. Close guy had gone down. That's two kills for the British. One kill for the or two kills for the insurgents. One kill. No kills for the British. Red smoke is uh, either SL, GL, or somewhat launcher. Yeah, see, but there's no GL. But he has a GL. Wait, Pony might have given the squad leads 
Geo round. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking... Let me go check out a squad lead. Let's go find a squad lead. He might have given the squad leads a, a, gren a grenade launcher with only smoke rounds. Squad lead, squad lead. Where are you at, squad? Godzilla Pro the squad lead? Yeah, Godzilla Pro the squad lead. One, that looks good. No, Excellent. I don't see a grenade Excellent. launcher on that. In Moss crossing the river north. Guys, work out what your angles are to get out. Weird. If you take contact down this alley, know how to get into cover. Oh, he gave the fire yeah. team leads yeah. grenade yeah. launchers yeah. with smokes. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So they have a grenade launcher with smokes. Now I know. Fire team leads have grenade launchers with smokes. Yeah, it's the fire team leads. I like that. I like the the the, the squad leads or like some some form of leadership having uh, a grenade launcher with only smokes because the HE rounds are, are good. They're great. Well, like if you know how to use them, they can be just powerful. Um, just giving them smokes though is so good. Like, I mean, hey, rather than giving out a key location, just boom, pop a smoke. You see the smoke? Shoot the smoke. Easy, easy peasy, easy shot, or or easy uh, corrections. It looked really square though. I felt like it looked really square. Where are you at, Blackbeard? I'm trying to get an eye on his grenade launcher. Doesn't it look super square? Contacts are reported in the IX six seven four all the way to the north. Yes, I have an angle. Whoa, fuck Roger, this, dude. Toward northwest. They're just trying to stay out. Stay, stay hidden. They're getting shot at. Up in those okay. get wow. I like the aggressiveness from three. I can appreciate the aggressiveness from four three. But is it too aggressive? Like, their cover is... They don't have any cover in the river. They have no support from their north. One is engaged from their southwest. Frag round out. Takes out liberal pundit. Uh, forces narrow uh, spider and Patrick start a bandage. Good frag round, whoever shot that. Patrick to me. Yeah. Like you can respect the aggressiveness, but it, there's 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 a point where you got to realize you you don't have you don't have the support to be as aggressive as you are. Yeah, like Keep still, beard, trying to spot the spot your launcher, right? I just felt like it was a very boxy, boxy grenade launcher. It seems very British, very practical over design, practicality over over design. But it don't need to look good. It just needs to work. Godzilla. Your guys out to the west should be waiting until four moves up and provides a base of fire. If they walk up to uh, INS checkpoint, just the three of them, they'll probably just die for nothing. Yep, EJ Key goes, to, goes down right, for nothing. Lost enough. Three's breacher. Roger, they were not supposed to push up like that. They're pulling back now. Oh, Patrick Star lives through that. Wow, what an RPG. Oh, okay. It, was, it, was for, it looked closer than I, from the angle, it looked closer than it was. Oh man, Patrick Starr is, uh, he's just gonna have to back out of this. They have pulled out of Moss, one has pulled east. A little oversaturated here in my opinion, is this? It has to be two two squads, yeah. This is one and two have a fire team here. It's about a full squad in this little compound area. In our stun guns from World War II, right? Yep. I mean, most people in, or most countries in World War II switch to the practicality. Like, the switch from, like, the Thompson to the Grease gun. Which is like, we that Thompson's really good and all, but super, super heavy and super expensive. Good frag round. Or, or uh, that, that seemed like a heat round. Onto uh, Adam from Hamdog. Yeah, he's just firing his heat rounds. Look 
update on kills. Zero for the British. Four for the insurgents. Command, my fire team has spotted enemy in I-673 on that bridge. Roger. I like this line that Ruby has set up. Again, this is this is an oversaturation of, of guys. I'm gonna go check it out actually, just to confirm. It may it may just look worse on the map than it actually is, but can they? Do they actually have Man. good eyes this direction? No, no. this is look at this. Enemies what do you need? Three guys like right on top of each other. What are you? What are you looking at? Unknown size of element. Hmm. Spread these guys out or get them moving. One's got a fire team going for the flank. Though look at that flank. Look at that flank. That'll take a minute to come uh, to complete itself, but I like that. Two should probably push up, I think. Oh no, these guys are defending. Okay, look at that. He's keeping guys to defend. He's keeping guys to defend. He understands. He knows. Boogie, I need you to move to your northeast. Immediately, I've spotted INS approximately in the Juliet 663. That's sound for me. Juliet 663? Uh, shots to the direct <laughs> south. Don't need this fucking gun. Yeah, repeat, there is a squad in uh, Juliet 666, maybe, across the river. So he copy. spotted them. He spotted one here. He's nice. Command 4 is spelled out in the southern push. In the west, we were unable to get any ground, so we pushed up. Red 2 pushed to Moss, kind of encircled. Gotcha. You're, you're, yeah, you're actually right. Red 2 pushes up to here. They have a semi insurgent movement. How did I don't get shot and Oddball get over there? How did, how did you end up across the river? <laughs> That's the question. What are they going to do from here? What's your goal? I don't get shot. I think you're just going to get shot. The, uh, grid that, that, uh, Mark was. Tell me when it's out there. Yeah, I'm location across the river. Julia uh, 662 or thereabouts. Do you want me to go first? Go for it. Moving. Yeah, they're gonna fall back. Set. Moving. Really oh, nice bound there. Black Copy. Really That's good bound there. Moving. And see this. This is where you need to bound across the river. They're just gonna. They're just gonna get across. I don't get shot as marked himself for death with that name, right? Like with a name like that, just like I'm gonna call you out. If you get shot, I'm gonna call you out. You don't get shot, liar. One five five on my position, boys. Uh, not really. My guys are putting light content, but I think they were just. There might be one out. One two seven. One two seven. It's a little, little far left. But this flank has been blown. Those targets? Oh! I'm having my guys. I said, let's try and. Tracers, I can't hit them. Okay. Yeah, Lex Ryan has, has eyes for dash B here. Every time those tracers go out. Oh, I can't. They shit. really, they really don't. Oh, yeah. You guys are getting re-engaged. Just get down. Viper, I need your Viper, Viper, Viper. Come here. Yes. Boogie, every time we shoot, shoot back, and they I can't don't set have up that bridge. Yep. Yeah, no, we'll set up right now. But if if gunfire, if you guys set up boys. bridges, you can shoot under the bridge. You can kill these guys. As they it can seems blue is stalled out. One. They haven't lost too many guys. One kill for the British. Four kills for the insurgents. We engaged by that uh that element going towards uh towards you guys. Um, it's a little stagnant at the moment. You, you don't know which way they went? Okay, copy. Good, uh, get your eyes all set to the south, even southeast. They just work both ways. Right? Uh, Loading. Man, do you want me to pull my two man fire team back to us or hold them there still? Uh, Nick, hold them there. Go ahead. Juliet 623, a uh, full squad. Mark with blue smoke. Roger the compound, Julie. 
Falcon 623. You start shooting, then everyone just starts shooting. Pretty much. Ooh. Blew us down what Lon did not want them to do. Reloading, definitely, reloading. definitely a stall here. Blue smoke for enemies, please no. They mark blue smoke for enemies? I don't see blue smoke anywhere. Alright, north to south to check out locations. I work Blythe and Gandalf, Blythe, like from Band of Brothers. We gotta clear this shit. Was that his name? Does anybody oh, know from that uh, the third episode yeah. of Band of Brothers? Blythe. I don't remember his first name. I just know his last name. But uh, I like this. This is this is the the this is the potential starting location for the insurgent hideout. Um, I think that'll work out for them if they can uh, maintain uh, a presence here and allow these guys to bounce past them. Yeah, eyes on. Rainbow Six. Anything, uh... Bill's daddy cycling. I think they just need to move. Hey, uh, yeah. you picked up that uh, ammo bag, right? They need to move. These guys stalled out again. They need to move. They're not going to see much from here. This is a good spot for a base of fire with Blackbeard and friends to, to put pressure on uh, the police station. Same with Big Rago, Soft Boy, and Money Man again. Good spot to put down fire onto uh, police station, allowing them to move. Nero Spider, Patrick Star. Just need to be reinforced, and then I think they can assault radio to, or uh, police station. Yeah, fairly accurate. They're moving uh, east. Look, I don't get shot. An oddball so made it back. Uh, watch in the south. I guess this is an okay position to watch the south. The bridge trolls here. Watch in the south. I don't hate this though. I I I, I think it's a like the bridges. Not gonna shoot through the bridge. You got a couple different spots to go prone and lay down some fire. I don't hate holding this bridge. And then they've got guys yeah, yeah, defending compound four, proper. Four, when you're ready Good call. To base of fire. Um, go ahead he actually call. sent some guys out to the east. He sent Senpai and Alpha Guido out there to the east. Let's go check that out. Like he's ca like, this is nice. This is really nice. They're, they're looking down yes, the road. The direct south. The direct south. Hey, don't get greedy, Senpai. Don't get What's greedy. Don't give away your position. The direct south. You're not. Don't give, out, don't give away your position. The They've yeah. got to come to you. They're on the other side Copy. of the river. Yeah, you know that moss thing that we had previously? Okay. And oh, sorry, is that K654? K654. Yes, sir. Really need you to put a fire. Gotcha. That's Julia. not moss. South of us, but I, I see I see him, yeah. Yeah. Juliet 536. Hold your, uh, you see him? Okay, open up on them if you see him. Actually, no, 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 hold, 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 hold fire, hold fire, yeah. hold fire. We're going to wait. Roger, We're going to wait for them to cross, get on the other side of that wall. Roger. Hmm. Command, this is gonna make some guys up here. For the northernmost section of the checkpoint, Indy 5 and 5. Roger. Four, we are ready to push onto the compound as well. Copy, we're making a move now. Alright, looks like they're getting ready to move onto the compound. Look at this. Keep up the fire. That's, keep up the fire superiority. Allow Godzilla Pro, Narrow Spider, and Patrick Star to move up unharassed from police station proper. They don't they don't know these guys to the south. Which is like that's just information they don't have, so there's no that's the information they can't prepare for. Pump up in the river. Yeah, this is this is getting a little bit oversaturated. I liked the yeah, idea of holding this bridge, but you, you can't. There's not enough positions for six guys to fire from this bridge. Three guys tops. Tops. Not then. And, and I'm talking like two automatic riflemen and the and, and then the the squad lead with binoculars. Lead with the grenades. That's a good call. They don't know this compound is empty, but they need to move. Roger. Is this the second point? We just lost him and us. It is the second point. Okay, okay. Juliet 5 that's to your north, east one. I killed him. What is that? 
I mean, these guys never. Yeah, it's a little clumped up, but then I mean, you, you, there's there's that that yeah. They're, they're, if they stack and they stay stacked like this, it's gonna be bad. But you you kind of have to to get stacked a little bit when you're gonna when you're gonna assault. You just gotta push quickly. You can't get engaged by like chupa chupa cheeps. Get spicing one, spicing. Get pushed in and spread out. Spread out as soon as you get in and, and push in. There you go. He's reloading. And they're in. I don't want to get spread out. See, even Long Dark recognized this 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 clump. Godzilla Pro got spotted trying to get in, but they've got three in the compound. That's good. Roger, you have to get inside the compound, Godzilla. I need you there to put a radio down. It's very important. You can be literally. Oh, get shot! Getting in. The doesn't have to be pretty. Oh, Godzilla, go! He got it. He's in, and they've got control. Also, have your guys get out there as soon as it's clear. They do have IEDs. Any IED in in here? No IED. This would have been a perfect spot for an IED, honestly. Revy's falling back. Red Four is falling back to the west. Red Two is holding this line. They're gonna just hold this line with three, two, three, or uh, two, three, and four. Red One trying to make some progress across the river, but Blue Two and Blue One completely stopping them. Three, you able to place a radio? Thank you. Radio's down. Good work. We've completed two uh, radio objectives. Four, there's no doubt contact somewhere out to your west. Three, be advised you probably uh, got contact out to your west as well. I'm gonna go check out these guys on the far east before we we'll work. We'll go east and then we'll start working our way west, starting with blue two. Six, three, five. He spotted them. They see them. Looks like a Bybee has gone down to Senpai. Yeah, this position is really paying off for them. Assault is tagged. Good shit. You got one down. They're aiming at yep. me right now. Man, we're engaging that fire team over here. If you could put a fire team here, at least one other guy. I think this would just be devastating. But Senpai and Alpha Lido doing great work on their own. Blue off Lido gets domed. Do you see anybody in the compound to your southwest? We're taking fire from there. Spill steady. I think you should pull off this senpai. What killed Guido and from where? Squally, can you pass that again? I was in a fire if I couldn't hear you. I need to know how Guido died. Stand by one. Uh, command, this is uh, Squad Lead. Uh, he got shot in the head. Yeah, I figured it wasn't the flu. Where did he get shot from? <laughs> uh, did cross the river or not? What's going on over there with Senpai? Roger, stand by Command, Command we are taking confirming. heavy fire from H685 compound. Yep. And that was so cheeky, Long <laughs> Alright, Roger, hold positions at this point. Two, still awaiting a report on what's going on out there in the east with Senpai. Proximate grid on uh, contacts across the river is Gilo 672. It doesn't look like they've crossed the river. Roger that. Not a bad call out. Well, about 100 meters off, but the general area is there. New FTLs to get thrown in the squad league. Gotta love them. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, so, so Londart said. Uh, his first call, uh, Gandalf and, and Spill's Daddy get tagged up. They're going to have to bandage. Um, to be fair, Londard said, um, how did he die and where from? And then he has to repeat. The, the guy asked him to repeat because he was in a firefight. And then Londard says, how did he die? And then he answered the question, how did he die? He got shot in the head. Londard didn't repeat, you know, from where, from where. So, yeah, as the new fire team lead, he didn't know he was supposed to give, you know, direction. Because that... If, 
as if you're an experienced squad lead, experienced fire team lead, you understand, you know, the, the information you should be given is, you know, troop size from what direction. Um, and, you know, sometimes you just don't know that information. And if you want to know what information you should be going over comms, you should check out our advanced leadership course. We have both our, pract our, our theory and our practical, both two courses that will get you certified. And it sort of gives you that information of what you should be thinking about when you're the fire team lead, what should you be thinking about when you're the squad lead, how to... Uh, uh, how to you know control your guys properly and 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 have those good clear communications that you need yeah no hilarious no that was great direction and then size yeah direction size you're uh, pulling back at what's uh, what's what's your situation uh, my squad mates are telling me that they were receiving fire back at uh, Juliet 561 and so we are RTVing back towards uh, the Bob there. We are, as well, we are taking fire from uh, 556, H556. And so we're uh, breaking contact as well. All right, I need you to hold that position. Don't go any further west. That is a purple patch on the map. So great big open field. Just um, be a base of fire. Stop them creeping along that north edge of the map border on uh, Fours Northern Flank. There's two who we're looking over right now. Tell them not to push any further west. This is actually a really nice spot to get a base of fire. I, well, come in, come in. We have yes, Kilo 6, 8, 8. They are uh, crossing the river to your east. Roger, I think over there with a fire team. And favorite game to play currently right now? Um, I, li I, I don't think I, I don't miss many ops, so Squad is definitely like a game I play every, every week for sure. Vanilla games, not as much. I played some Postscriptum recently. Um, other than that, not, I don't really play too many games. I play League of Legends on occasions, World of Warcraft, Wolfpack, I'm going to probably start playing more, or playing, just got it, and, uh, it looks fun. Yeah, League no, I don't, I don't have time to, I, I, I do, I, I work during the days and whatnot, you know, so, my time is limited. It's squad. It is. It's a lot of squad. Vanilla squad, not as much as it, as it was. I'm. It 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 happens. You know the the the, the patch burnout where you're just waiting for that new thing to come out. And I want to continue to play play squad for a long time. And the way to do that is to not burn yourself out on squad to where I just never. You know you know those songs where you like you hear it over and over again. Like your favorite song, you hear it over and over again until you hate it. I don't want that to happen with squad. So. I've been limiting how much I play of it so I don't get burnt out and I'm like never want to see it again. Uh, we haven't taken contact from the I-6 force. Yeah, and it doesn't help that the invasion server is currently drunk at the moment. We are not sure where that contact went. Roger 3. Been some, uh, technical issues with, uh, squad that has made it less fun to play during vanilla game. Roger. Make sure that you guys are well split up. Don't all be in a little single file creeping down that, um, creek because that is a uh, killing zone. Make sure planning spread out. Roger. Don't jump back where the bullets are landing. Two, how was the contact that you were pushing the north side of the map? Two, do you copy? It's like two's moving again. It's all on both sides. That's what it seems like. Blue Force made some progress. They probably made the most progress. These guys have stalled. Well, I don't think they... Technically, they don't need to be moving red three or, or red team has done a great job setting up a line preventing blue from pushing through and it's a nice looking spread look at the map good spacing good well <laughs> looks like he goes down was he on a roof i bet he was on a roof no he was not oh, how did he die where did he die from what was he trying to do we had a one times ar on the bridge there but like look at this spread plenty of room to watch for grenades Good cover, good eyes. 
Revy's really... I, I've enjoyed how Revy has is, is positioned his guys. Every single time he's squad leader that I've, I've commentated, like, I've enjoyed his, his positioning of his... It's, it's like picturesque. Look at Red One. Yeah, let's actually look at... Yeah, Red One's making some progress. And Londards is pushing Red One. Londards has us almost a full squad, about seven guys pushing Red Team. He's not going to allow them to backdoor him and take out his fob. Copy that. Dash be reminding him of spacing. We've got the room to spread out. Let's do that. Spy, I'm on you. Boogie, we're gonna have to cross this river, so I need you to get uh, a couple of guys set up. They don't know. So they don't know he's crossed. Like the little gaps oh no. no. Cover on the sides. Man, we are taking shots from the south. Senpai needs to continue watching their east if they want to catch this. Roger that three. Just spread they out. don't know. Up some bullets. Shoot back at them. I need to uh, thin them out so we can I find a way to get through. Bondarts is with his guys, yeah. Bondarts being very forward with his commanding this round. They have no idea. Three guys, your nightmare, hell cool, and assault against the world. Just imagine. Right here. They just got to move up right here. Easy money. Senpai is looking. He's maintaining that security. But Assault has done a good job in keeping his guys alert, though. Just across the river at 132, straight southeast. Last known contact across the river. All right, send a buddy pair out to the uh, to the east. We need to do this quickly. We're losing too many uh, guys up there on the uh, update on kills. Five kills, kills for the British, eight kills for the insurgents. So within three still, still anybody's game. British have completed two of their objectives. They just need to move to their final objective to get on the defense. Because right now they are on the offense. They are the ones having to push through all of this contact. If they can push through this contact, get to their point at F635. F635. Hemp. So then they can... Uh, then they're suddenly switch. Roughly 30 meters northwest. Roger that. You can get suppression on that. But this line that uh, Revy has set up is going to be super, super hard for them to push through. Super Chomp of Troops, Super Chomp of Troops, Toxic Rebel, and uh, Kablamo going to hold this line, though. Firing at Stalker, Revy, and friends. Stalker, Tanker, and Revy. Say again, squad lead. Contact is northwest, the force position. Unnamed to say, Chupa Chomp Chups. It's just like uh, King Salmon Fish God. It's another fun name to say. Roger, I'm going to shift my machine gun fire to that position right now. Command, that contact is pulling southwest. Roger. Yeah. These guys are 100% unspotted. This buddy team moves over. Of, uh, I don't get shot in oddball. Take it back across the river. Looking for con looking for trouble. A little close together right here. Go to watching on the road. Other than that, spacing is just impeccable from the uh, the Russian, or excuse me, from the insurgents. Three, are you able to see Mosque from where you are? And if so, is there any uh, activity in it? Here's not so good. Chris and Dwarf right on top of each other. Can you repeat, uh, command. Are you able to get binos on Mosque from your position? That risk your neck. Taking our blue locations. Uh, anything over there. These guys are told not to uh, move. Probably, sure rightfully so. They don't have a so medic here. Know. There's a lot of guys who have already been shot. They just need to maintain uh, that base of fire for when they do approach. Red's pushing. Red's pushing Money Man's. Oh, Money Man and Saloon. Firing at Seethers. Goes down. Two's got a heavy handle on them. No activity on Mosque. There's more of them. Roger. Oh, and they got caught out. Two 
100% they are caught out. Smoke coming in, incoming. There's smoke, incoming smoke. One is. They're moving left. The, uh, moving blue is moving shot. south across the street, and uh, red one is moving uh, around to get this bob. Yeah, if that smoke was a frag, I think that would have killed Forster. But that smoke is more just marking smoke. In the red smoke, I think uh, is a good call. Oh, Captain Dillon gets just domed by Saloon. Yeah, that was a close shot that came in on me. It might have hit you, actually. Seven to nine. Gap is less than three now. Really horrible position. Yeah, command. I have eyes on right towards southwest. They're moving. Uh, looks like back south. Roger, if you could coordinate uh, fire from Sebi and Viper onto that, and let's uh, move on to it, take it out. Uh, stay here for now. I'm gonna try to get you a better position. Okay. Yeah, this round is very close, Mr. Command, they're also to the south of us. To the south, Roger. They're pushing up on the compound to our south. The frost has gone down. Lima Bean, Vladimir, and Zeke. The ones who get spotted by uh, I don't get shot, Oddball, Boogie, and Dash B. Red one may be able to. Where's red one? Not even see them. They 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 may be able to just come in and, and take this objective, no problem. Yeah, historically, Pony has some amazing ambushes on Cora. Like the last like two or three Cora ops, Pony has just had crazy um, ambushes where he's getting like seven or eight kills in, in a little like in a matter of seconds. Copy. Three, you're still taking contact to south. Ooh. Not an NSA spy takes out one. Roger. I don't know how he got on this flank. We've also gained pop shots to the west. I'm mean and Vladimir yeah, trying to push through this building towards Dashby. No, because I was a victim one. On Everybody has at one point or another fallen prey to a, a, a pony flank. He's always, he, he, he enjoys being that flanking squad. Frag out onto Lima Bean. Oh, landed on the wrong roof. Of, that was just a, a a degree to the left, his left. I think it will land it. Nope. Frag oh, out, gosh. underhanded onto Oddball. Takes out, I don't get shot. He didn't get shot? He didn't get shot, I'll give him that. He, he blew up. <laughs> so, I guess that's one. You win this time, I don't get shot. At least namesake wise, he does go down. Have any contact to yourself still? Godzilla, do you have any contact to yourself still? Trying to get words out of Godzilla. Looks like he's having a lot of trouble here. A lot of his guys bandaging, possibly from grenades. Squad leader three, DP. Yeah, he's in heavy contact right now. He can't hear. He can't hear over Patrick. All right, he dropped. He dropped. Hold. Man, we are still taking contacts to the south. Roger. I need you to push as best you can to the west. Same uh, goes for you. Four and two. I need you all moving to your west. One, we need to expedite this. Uh, clear out of this compound. Start pushing west on our final objective. Make sure everyone in your squads knows the final objective is Foxtrot Six Three Five. Roger.
I mean, really okay spots by Patrick here. They need to start moving west. This line is just, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough for them to push through. 10 kills for the British, 12 to the insurgents. They're keeping it within two. Looks like Ford's going to start pushing. Let's go. Let's follow them in. I told you. Yeah, this is going to push like this. We're not making any progress. It's just that. Yeah, it looks like. Just be advised, I don't have enough in my hands. Roger. No one's saying anything right now. Copy. I'm gonna push this a little bit. H hang back, hang back. Copy. I don't want you to die. It's just me and you, Jimbo. <laughs> yeah, spacing is a little lackluster for the British. They're a little, they're, yeah, they're a little clumped up. Ooh, looks like they've come in a really, really heavy contact on the south. Oh, they got just destroyed. A lot of guys went down in that engagement. You can catch me in that compound one. So many people just died. Three. Florida Command, we've pretty much stalled out where we are. We're attempting to get some type of headroom to our west, but it's looking pretty tough out here. Roger, I need you to do best you can. Keep on now moving. If I go down, just remember uh, I get uh, compound Foxtrot 635. Yeah, that was getting intimate. <laughs> Alright, we need to pull back from Man, this compound. Man, we're going to uh, be assaulting guard. the compound and yeah. H659. The, these guys here, that, that's value for these guys. These Vladimir, it was like three people. They did lose all but one, no, but they took out like four or five down. in that uh, engagement. Londart and Dashby, only two remaining from this push. Assault managing to get his guys Man, into this compound. We'll see what happens if they have to fall back or not. Negative. We need to uh, move out to the west. There's nowhere near the objective. Is it worth it now? Uh, see, Lon did say he didn't want to push this compound, and then he sort of changed gears to let's clear the compound out in a hurry and then move on. So maybe if he had not switched gears and just said bypass it and keep moving, maintain that rear security like he wanted to, he'd have been able to just move past it. 13 kills for the British, 17 for the insurgents. Gap is spreading a little bit now with uh, four. Look at this. Clumped up, clumped of one grenade takes out four people. No plan survives contact, right? Hey Nugget, go, go ahead and push this uh, Russell Bravo. I have no idea. Assault too late. I believe assault is too late to uh, right, uh to push south that south point. South They've already got the second flag. Yeah, I can hear him. Yeah. Here, are you ready? Yeah. Ooh, Godzilla Pro goes down to Hawk. So if you let Dash be, no, I'm covering him so he can move over to me. Underhanded grenade, right? An underhanded grenade from uh, So Hard or Hawk. If you could grab your other blueberry to fall back to you. It'd be uh, pushing uh, west. pretty, pretty brutal for these guys. Wow, look at this. Roger, three. I need you to keep pushing to your west best you can. I don't know how Thor passed these guys up, but he's, he's already killed them, that's why. Those two go down to... Uh, the Thor. Roger. Thor taking over for four. Roger. Contact's close on this compound to our south. Thor, Thor takes out Albi. Left your squad. Foxtrot 635 is our objective way out to the west. Sorry, can you repeat last? Foxtrot 635 is our objective way out to the They're, west. The British are finally pushing. They're... Uh, Adam, Hawk and, and uh, Unagi are so, so... Like I don't like their I don't like his positioning here, but it's working. 
Like, well, the, I don't know, the, the idea of sitting there in the middle of the road, I don't think should be working, but it's working. Hawk's actually got a really nice position next to the slow wall watching down the roads. But yeah, this is definitely stopping them from, uh, from progressing any further west. Wow, YouTube is way behind. I believe it. YouTube uh, definitely gets that way. Man, you want me to reinforce three or go around them on their south? Yes. Okay, copy. If you can make it on their south side, that's also good. Solid. Uh, in yeah, the river, south side of the river. One be advised, be careful to your north. If it's stupid, but it works, it, it ain't stupid. I mean, north, copy. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's still stupid. <laughs> We're taking shots from the south. Somehow it came off live stream. Oh, you you just rewinded. A selling is on a whole different level. Yeah, Godzilla, it is definitely on a on its own level. You gotta you gotta learn to uh, prioritize comms, listen to to a bunch of different chatter, and and figure out what needs to be uh, what needs to be done. All in a matter of seconds. Update on kills. 16 kills for the British, 24 for the insurgents. That gap is growing ever wider. I, think, I don't think the, the British are going to be able to complete their objective. They're just too spread out. They need to regroup, re reorganize, and figure out how they're going to complete, uh, or where they're going to, where they're going to regroup to complete their objective. I think I have no idea. Of, uh, I don't know what the call is. I guess north. the only open areas are through fields. Hamdog goes down to Thor. I'm trying to push the best you can to the west. You need to uh, do it by buddy team. Make it happen. Have two guys shoot, two guys move, for instance, repeat. Copy. Gregor and Thor all alone on the north main push is going to be from this mid uh, midpoint of three and one with only five guys let's get an actual count let's see who's up three six eight here the so ten squad plus one squad plus command left scattered that is Russian or not Russian insurgent forces count. Ooh, what an IED takes out Patrick Star. About sixteen. So about double for the insurgents. About about what it was last round. At about this point last round it was about double double the insurgents versus the British and, that, and I'm not saying the British can't do it British almost brought it back it was within three last round uh, near the end but the British are definitely in a worse spot they are not on there they are still on the offense they still need to continue moving west whereas the the um, insurgents can afford to hit and run tactics Command, if we the uh, this we platoon down, uh, I, uh, just continue to whittle them down Yeah, just been informed by. Thor's uh, buddy goes down. I mean that we need to push, so I understand that's difficult, gentlemen. But do the best you can do. Yeah, copy down into one. Do they pull back, regroup, and then hammer force them? I th I think that's the call. They just they're not in a position to regroup. There's insurgents cutting off groups from each other. There's insurgents in between everybody. Like big Thor, Thor's not gonna get to be able to regroup. He's got salt crits, Thor, pipe funk, like four or five guys in between him and his friendlies, and he's got guys pushing him from his east. Thor sees dwarf, misses dwarf, sees salt crits, takes a shot at salt crits, and then runs. He's spotted though. Dwarf gets him on the vault. That that deals Command, with that moving point. I'm not gonna Excellent, try and get held up. 
That was fun. Right, Kyle? I, I definitely think our, our One Life events are a lot of fun. Def more fun than our vanilla games, or any any vanilla games, really. Um, just because they're a little more organized. They're, 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 the, the objectives are different. You fight in parts of the map that you normally wouldn't fight on. I think that's my, my best favorite thing about our, our, our ops. Yeah, the objectives are fun. The One Life aspect is a lot of fun. But you fight in areas that you normally wouldn't fight on. Because, like, AAS, Invasion, you fight on the point if you want to win. Here it's like you have to do something, and and you're 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 fighting in areas that aren't as advantageous as they normally would be. There's no set like strats that that work every single time because they're different every single time. You don't get caught in the same spots. It's it's different in a good way. I love in here is for Norris to be winning in the game. <laughs> Nor turned away just as Dwarf ran in front of him. Yeah, and he tried to get his shots. He missed him, but he. Norris. And, and yeah, he he definitely he missed his shots and then. The pain for it. looks like chicken nugget and narrow spider is going to break contact move southwest they're going to hook up yeah they're just going to continue moving west as fast as possible try and get to their end location which is f635 i'd like to move my mouse thank you f635 being about here here they're moving as fast as they can just get into that objective they don't have any squ There's not going to be a squad lead there to throw down that fob uh, unless uh, Bondars can make it. Which, can he? Is he in a position to make it? Maybe. Let's listen in on him. They're going to go check out the guys moving on to the point proper. Is he talking to Dashby and the local? Yeah, we'll just keep pushing west. Well, true. We're just going to keep pushing west. Try and get to that point. Contact on the point. It's falling, uh, they're moving west, they're east, uh, Juliet 618. Full Gulf auto, full miss. He's a, he, That's what happens. You shoot full auto at any range besides CQB, like, reaching a door, you're gonna miss. And even then, I just like to tap fire, single fire, just really fast. Run forest run. Keep going, get to the point. Get to the point. He he moved through the field. He's behind the trees. You got me on local. I don't think they can't hear you anymore. They're at a local range. Loading on the move. I'm gonna try and maneuver my guys to the west side of the compound we're supposed to be attacking. If you can just head straight at it, uh, salt the eastern side. Yeah, of it. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So it's the one to your northwest, yeah, Foxtrot 635. Seven versus. How many? I mean, seven. Is that what it was? I got 19. There's a big chunk of one here still alive. Not an NSA spy, just suppressing. Gonna allow Sebi V and Viper to push up unharassed. Well, we'll find out, I guess. They're I'm reloading here. real quick, and then we're gonna push him. This is final assault, so let's go. We're just gonna be doing a lot of running the rabbit. How's it look, Sebi? Uh, we're on the compound now, they're definitely inside, we're going to be breaching. Roger, do you want to have you guys on the uh, outside move up? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Breach, breach, breach. In through here. Go right, go right. Oh, they got flanked. Oh, yep, you got him. He's down, he's down. There's a guy on our right, I think. Right, right where you just left. Viper takes out Storm. Good shots on Storms. May go down to Miyamoto, though, as he looks left instead of right. Look at the sneaky spot for Miyamoto in those trees. Sebi V's gonna vault over. Oh, no, he's not. That would have been so good. Oh, firefight and they trade. Miyamoto, ver uh, 
Goes down to Sebi. Sebi goes down to Miyamoto. Viper on the point alone. Location secure with the most loose of air quotes. Um, Salt Crits and Dwarf gonna try and flank Chicken Spider and uh, Chicken Nugget and Narrow Spider. Here's Kamehameha. There they are. And we'll check out Chicken Nugget and Narrow Spider because they're most likely gonna go down here in the next couple seconds. I'm down. This is. I don't know what the objective is. He, he doesn't know the objective. That means the information wasn't crossed, crossed, um, or passed down appropriately through the command. Uh, command. Are we allowed to use text chat? I don't know. We're seeing a. Crawl. In this so many times, someone is watching an angle as an enemy it. approaches, and as the yeah, enemy is about to come into view, the first guy looks a different way. Yeah, it's just it's the like worst like possible the timing. Just terrible, terrible timing. Viper being swung in on. Chicken Nugget, try to link up with your closest friendlies. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go to block five. Ah, oh, this is fucked beyond belief. <laughs> Viper, all alone here. What's he gonna do? No, Viper, what are you doing? <laughs> he goes down a pipe funk. You don't need to be so aggressive, man. You you were fine. You were in, you were where you needed to be. He goes down. Dash B, Londar's not going to have that third guy to lay down the fob. Rip Viper. Two here, two here. Last four remaining. Viper... Or, uh, Lawn Darts, Dashby, uh, Chicken Nugget, and Narrow Spider versus about, you know, 16 other insurgents. You able to suppress that for me, Chippy? I can't. They see him. I wish I had a fire grenade. I'll suppress him for you. I think I know roughly. Yeah, yeah, he's. I need a frag grenade. But I don't have one. Good shots. You're really accurate on just stalking okay, the one out. He can't get the angle. Dash me may go him. down here. Oh, what a Stop. headshot on a stalker. Dash me, contact to our south, I think. South King. I think I was just shot at from the south. No, that was the guy who was... They were shot at from the south from Dwarf. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it, make sure you can see me. You gotta stay kinda close. Uh, I mean, it's spread out still though, in case someone throws a grenade. Okay, we'll spread thing. out then, we'll spread out. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Not even near them, and they're scared. Just so on edge. Dash be pushing Salt Crits and Dwarf. Oh, I see what he's doing. Gonna wait for them to go through this opening. Long up, yeah, Mr. GZ, we're near it. This is a long one. Dashby's gonna go down here to dwarf. No salt crits, excuse me. Assault goes down to lawn darts. Lawn darts, narrow spider, and chicken nuggets. Only three remaining. They're watching this road though. Look at this crossfire that uh, Vladimir and uh, Hellcool have. Watching the road. They don't know Chicken Nuggets and uh, Air Spider are here. They have no idea. Look at them. They're looking over them. Dash tried. 
Yeah, but, uh, but yet this op is uh, running, running a little bit long, nearing the three hour mark for the full op. We've been crawling on our like dicks for the past like 20 minutes, so we're here. Oh, I'm, I'm looking over the thing. Oh, God. Three versus. <laughs> Chicken Nuggets goes down. Londarts faces no, Dwarf. Londarts goes down to Dwarf. That pistol fight. Narrow Spider. Last man standing. Londarts, can you hear me? Londarts is dead. Narrow Spider against the world. One versus 13. And Salt Critz is spotted. Uh, no, he has not. He's just shooting. Last man crawling. They're just shooting at the dirt. Like, they're just shooting at any and all the locations. They're gonna run up on Narrow Spider. No, he sees him. He sees him. Oh, door passed him up. There he goes. Narrow Spider goes down. Vladimir, I believe, is the one who, who got the finishing blow. So, what it it, it 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 came down to the stall, I believe. The the British forces stalled out. They they allowed the the insurgents to maneuver on them and then get set up in very just like picture perfect lines. Specifically, like I, I, it, it was towards the the middle points, just a very nice He's north bad. to south line with a southern uh, presence across the river that prevented the flank, and and. It just came down to just lack of aggression from the British. They, they, it was within two, three kills for the most part. It did. It wasn't until the very end where that spread happened. Yeah, early loss of momentum for the Blue Forces. Yeah, I, I agree. Just very. Or once that momentum was lost and allowed the the insurgents to start dictating the pace, it was over for the British. Good job on them. They managed to keep it close for a long time. If you guys are interested in participating in these events, check us out squadops.gg. All you have to do is sign up on the website, take our basic training course, only about forty five minutes to an hour long. And then you can participate on any and all of our Squad Ops One Life events. We host them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays. Those are the ones that are streamed, as well as post-scriptum events on Fridays and Sundays. And if you like what you saw and you want to give us a follow at twitch.tv forward slash Squad Ops, we would really appreciate it so you know when we go live. We also upload all of our videos onto YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Squad Ops. I was your commentator for this evening, Shadowed Ritual. And until next time, I will catch you guys later.